<laughs> Carolina Sports Radio, we're back. Episode 29, which would be, let's do the introductions first. Doug. Steven. And Justin. And we have a guest this week, which we'll get to. Yeah. But the name of this episode this week, it was episode 29. It is CSR is a blaze. A blaze. A blaze. So we got we do have a guest this week, and it's one that we've mentioned on the podcast before. Um, <laughs> a couple we, times. We took it easy on we we kind of kept you know cracking on his team a little bit, and then we stopped. Well, you did. Yeah. <laughs> Out of respect, because oh, yeah. cause I'd do the same thing. Yeah, I'd right. be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, you know. So, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. But uh, we're gonna do twenty nine first. No, we're gonna introduce him Dude, first, so right, he can cool. he can join in. Yeah. All right. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and introduce the guest. I'm gonna let Stephen take it away. So we do have the man, the myth, the legend. Our commissioner for our fantasy football league, yeah, yeah. the man that destroys in Fortnite and sucks at fantasy football as well. Giddy, 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 giddy. And this is Mr. Mark, aka Blaze. Aka Blaze. What's Hence up, the name. What's up? What's Ooh, up, man? Welcome aboard, Mark. Thanks, guys. You excited to be on? Yep. We're excited to have you, man. Long time yeah. listener, first time speaker. Yeah, That's cool. and the first person to buy one of our hats. How do you yeah. like it? Yeah. We appreciate that. One of the best hats that I've ever owned. Yeah. We, we do appreciate that. Dude, man. you're rocking it all the time. It's man. comfy. It's clean. Yeah. It's stylish. Yep. You look good in it, man. Thanks, man. I have to say. So, first question I got for you. Okay. How did you come up with the nickname Blaze? Oh, gosh. It starts with uh, a lot of beers. Oh, really? Yep. I don't Holy believe, shit. I don't believe that. Yep. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just uh, try to be cool. Yeah. I was macking on somebody. Yeah. And I was like, hey, yo, tell that girl my name's Blaze. <laughs> pretty badass name. <laughs> no, not gonna, nice. not going to lie. Pretty badass name. Nice. And then it was at a bar and then everybody called me it forever. No shit, really? Still to this okay. day. So it's so funny when you say that is because every time I made a video game character or any kind of username, I always use Blaze. Even before I knew all my characters' names, Blaze, Blaze, Blaze. All of a sudden we started playing video games. My name's Blaze. I'm like, fuck out of here. My name's Blaze. How are we going to do this? We're going to flip a coin over it. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not doing that because I'm going to lose. You got a cool name, though. Yeah, Steve Reno. I'll take it. Yep. So, man, tell us about your sports teams. Who are you a fan of? Um, Carolina born and raised, so I bleed Carolina blue for the Tar Heels. Hell yeah. Go Heels. Let's go. Um, I don't watch a lot of NBA, but I do pull for the Hornets. Cool. Let's go. Because, I mean, who else are you going to pull for LeBron? I'm, yeah. No. <laughs> don't do it. That's right. No. Don't do it, man. Oh, you, you're going to get me going already. No. Yep. <laughs> that and Steph, because local boy. Yeah, you know? yeah. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. Yep. And then... Um, I am a Steelers fan. Okay. So, so you and Tech Guy. Tech Guy. Arr, yeah. Arr. What what made you become a Steelers fan? Every every other team you have is is local. So what made you become a Steelers fan? Yeah. So in the Atlanta Braves too, and they're the most local. Yeah. So um growing up watching sports, I feel like everybody was raised to watch them with their dad mm-hmm. or yeah. whatnot, and they yeah. were kind of born yeah. into it or whatnot. Absolutely. And with every team my dad watched, it was really like a lot of negative to it. It wasn't a positive. Like mm-hmm. we stood by our team, so there was a lot of negative. Turn the channel, walking outside, right. they sucked. Right. Really didn't stand by it. So then when I started playing fantasy football, that's when I started watching a bunch of games and a bunch of different people and focusing on stuff. And when I, my brother in law is also a Steelers fan. Okay. So when I started to watch the Steelers, I was like, these. Guys. That was when like Antonio Brown's first season came out and he kicked the Browns player in the face. Oh yeah, on the punt return. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Levy on Bell, Big Ben. I was like, these guys are just fun to watch. Right. And I kind of just picked them, stuck with them, and I love them. So what turned you off with the Panthers? I have to ask this. So nothing really turned me off with the Panthers. I know where you're reaching, <laughs> but um, <laughs> you know, like again, I kind of got turned off of from my from my dad. Like just all the negativity, watching him like, watch them. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. no, I'm not the biggest Cam Newton fan, but I'm not going to sit here and bash anybody because yeah. everybody's allowed to like sure. whoever they want. Absolutely. Okay. That's fair. Yep. That's totally fair. All right. So, um, I'm going to go around the table, let people ask some more questions to you. I'm not going to take up all your time, Mark, even though I want it all. Yeah. But go ahead. So that me. Y- y'all can talk privately. Um, well, you said, uh, you know, football, basketball, college, you said all those. Um, what about hockey? Do you, are you a hockey fan? I do not watch any hockey. Kind of like the rest of the people, I don't understand it. So it's right. not that hard, man. It's not that hard. I promise you, it's not. That I did hard. go to the Canes party. We didn't watch it because Green Bay was on during the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. But I would love to go <laughs> right, to a right. watch party game, and and watch party, and, and, and we, watch one. And we have one coming up. We'll, we, we'll talk about that. Yeah. yeah. So I got to catch some dates. Cool. Um, what would be your most out of all your teams? What would you want to go see the biggest game in? 
like a Super Bowl or a national title or right. honestly I would I was at the NL uh C S of the Braves this past year. And if I could have, I would have gone when it came right. back to Atlanta right. and I would have watched that. The World okay. World Series. The World Series, absolutely. Yep. Definitely. Yep. Okay. And I've been to an NLCS in Atlanta yep. against my Cardinals and it was ugly. No. Oh. Uh, but I was there. I didn't care. I was like, "Hey, man, I was here. It is what it is." Here for the experience, right there. Yep. <laughs> so it's pretty. It's pretty cool to attend a sporting event that of that magnitude. I mean, it really is. I mean, you're one game from the World Series. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, it was just so special at the Braves because they hadn't been there in so long. Yep. Yeah. Ninety five. And who won that game, Mark? Uh, the Braves. Oh, Should've was it been. because you were there? Yeah, I think I, so. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. And we're all Braves fans. Hell yeah! I'll suffer. Doug. Oh. Well, yeah, we're not. Gonna... I, I'm not a brave hater. Nobody heard that airplane tech guy. Yeah, we don't care about the airplane. Oh, okay, yeah. By the way, yeah, that was we're near the airport. <laughs> They're flying over. We're on location this week. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if anybody heard that, it is what it is. Um, go ahead, Justin. Um, I think I just got one more, and this is a question I just me and Steven talk about all the time. What's one? sports stadium that you would always wanted to go to so i always think between baseball would be sorry doug sorry be red, go to red sox i mean no, I, would, Park, I, would, I would love yeah. to go there the green monster and everything i think it's a beautiful stadium oh um, well, it's 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 historic yeah i would love to right go there. i want to go to all the baseball stadiums yeah so and i've been to several so no that's a good one man i would love to go there and then with NFL would probably be Lambo, just yeah. again from the history. Oh hell yeah, yeah! And if it hadn't been for COVID in 2020, I would have been at Lambo. Yeah, I was going to the Panther game that year. No, yeah. and then you couldn't. Yeah, crap. But Could I want to go when it's like Blizzard. And, yeah. you, and it, you, that's the way you want to go. And you yeah. know that year it, when it was co- it did snow when did the Panthers yep. were up there. Yeah, yep. that's where McCaffrey almost got in to win the game. Yep, yep. It snowed, and I was like, we and that's when bootleggers hit me. Ah, nice Johnny Need bootlegger. Fontres. Yep. So yeah, that Lambo. I came that close to going there. So, uh, I mean, I think Stephen kind of you kind of hit mine. I was going to talk about the Steeler thing, mm. um, and that's interesting because Mark, I didn't know that you were born and bred Charlotte. Yep. I, I mean, I, I just assumed because you like Pittsburgh, mm-hmm. you had some kind of tie there. Most people do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was my question: was what what made you become a Pittsburgh fan? What what was the reasoning? Which he you know you answered. But I guess a question tied to that mm-hmm. is you talked about the negativity with your dad and watching the Panthers. We all know about that. Oh, yeah. Um, but there have been some good years with Carolina as well. Sure. But are you one of those Charlotte fans that I talk about that doesn't like the Panthers or rags on the Panthers? Or do you pull for the Panthers when they're not playing the Steelers? So I wouldn't say that, like, I'm a fake fan. Like, I come out, like, they go to the playoffs. Like, 2015. Yeah. yeah. No, I watched it, but I'm not going to be the one that's decked out in the right, gear. Right, But due to my friends, I have the respect for it. And So, absolutely, right. I have I have a jersey at home. Right. I've put it on and multiple times. Well, and he, he's been to a watch party before. Really. Cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's the first time I, took, I met you. And I took my Steelers yeah. jersey off and I put on the pants. Well, like, I think that's the first time I met you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was that one of those? Um because that's something that drives me crazy, and I know I did get off my lawn. Yeah. Um, I, I don't have a problem with a person sticking to their another team or their – like in my case, you talked about your dad. Mm. Well, I mean, I'm the old guy of the group, of course. These guys have known nothing but the Panthers. Right. I was a Dallas fan for years Yeah. because my dad was a huge Dallas fan. Mm. So I grew up watching that. Um they had success, so I didn't see the negativity you're talking about. But as a matter of fact, when the Panthers came in the league, Dallas was the defending champs. And that was hard for me to go watch that playoff game with Troy and Emmett and all those coming out on the field when, you know, all you saw them was on TV. And then when you see them in person, it's like these guys are like rock stars, man. They come out, you know, and you're like, oh, my God, it's going to be hard. But once the game started, I was all Panthers. And that was hard to do. To give up your team, uh, you know we've all talked about baseball. You guys are Braves fans. I'm a Cardinal fan. If Charlotte gets a team, I'm a diehard Cardinals fan. I mean, have been, but I always have to go with the home team. That's just how I am. It'll be tough to give up the Cardinals. I'd probably pull for them whenever they weren't playing the Charlotte team, but 
I'm just loyal to the Charlotte thing. I think that, oh, go ahead. I was like, I've been asked that question before. Sure. And I think it's a perfect sure. question to ask these guys too, because I was torn really hard was if Charlotte got it's an MLB hard. team, hard, what would I do? I can't turn my back completely on the Braves. No. And, and I don't think I could ever do that with the Cardinals. I was born and raised um, by them. Well, and I, I, I thought the same thing about the Cowboys. Yeah. But 20, Six, seven, you know, years later, I can't stand them. How can that, I not these guys go to will, a Charlotte game and root for them? Yeah, these guys will tell you. I mean, I I'm not a Dallas fan at all and, anymore. And in um, the perfect world, if we did get a baseball team, they'd be in the AL, and, and which would be then, I, you ha- then you'd have an NL AL team, which but then, would be ideal. And then if they meet in the World Series, you're like, yeah, well, it would be <laughs> ideal because, that, and that's what I hope right. if it does happen. Um, but yeah, but that was the main thing. Just trying to, I found it interesting when you were telling, and I didn't realize the Charlotte thing. Mm. So that kind of helped me with my question. I was like, okay, I can change my question up a little bit now. So that, but that makes more sense. You I have a reason. Yeah. I for do. being a, a you, you, you explained. Yeah. It. Um, the ones that drive me crazy, like I said, or I worked with a lot of guys at my old job who, who were in the same boat I was, but when the Panthers came, they maintained their loyalty to their original team not only did they do that, but they trashed the Panthers every chance they had, mm. and that gets on, that gets on my nerves. Yeah. Um. So that was why I asked that question. And I can't stand like when people stop me in Steelers gear and they're like, "Oh, boo! I hate y'all. I'm an Eagles fan." Well, again, it, you different be. sides. We should be though, <laughs> right? Well, different sides. If if you're a <laughs> Bengals fan or a, you know, there's there's kind of that rivalry. Like I get it, but like. You're allowed, you're allowed to like who you want to But like. we're going to talk right. about, you know, that later about the big robbery. We're going to talk about All right. It. But but we expect that. Us th- us three have talked about that. We'll talk about number 13. What do you? <laughs> we expect those people <laughs> to hate our team. Yeah. I don't respect them if they say, no, nah, I mean, I don't really have much about gets Carolina. I, I can go for Carolina. Like an NSA tournament. If Duke loses, I can pull for the Tar Heels. Hell no. It don't work like that. No. I never pull for Duke, period. And we'll get to that later. The only Dukes I pull for is mayonnaise. There you go. And, you know, I think we, nice. even, I think we even talked about that. Yeah. Are you sure, Steven? It's Dukes. <laughs> you know, give a fuck. It's a complete different thing, man. Oh, yeah. The jar. So, the, the jar was blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that was, the, that was the biggest thing. Oh, yeah, Steven, I'm going to tell you, speaking of that, when Carolina was in the Dukes Mayo Bowl, yeah. did you see Dukes made the special labels? No, I didn't see that. They actually had Carolina Blue well, Dukes. It, well, isn't the light Dukes mayonnaise Carolina it's like, Blue? Yeah. Well, it's like yeah, lighter, it yeah. But they had South Carolina ones and North Carolina ones. Yeah. Um, but I thought that was weird. It was Dukes and it was Carolina Blue. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Damn right. Ugh, that kind of gave me, I, I, that kind of, I don't know. That was kind of hard. Yeah. Well, so. I've got a couple more questions before you, Mark. But it's not really sports related. Okay. All right. What's your go-to beer? That's a good one. Hmm. My go-to is probably Miller or Coors. Miller or Coors? Yeah. Yep. I kind of go, I kind of go back and forth. What's wrong with Bud Light? I, I liked it when I was 21. What's I didn't that? know what I was thinking. Oh yeah, you're 51. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, so Mark's like me. I don't have anything against Bud Light. Y'all, uh, yeah. I think y'all think I hate, but I don't. I'm just, I'm a Miller Light guy. Yeah. yeah. I always have been. Well, I offered you a Bud Light and you and didn't I, take it. And I like Ultra. So. Because well, you're watching your figure. But that is, it's a Anheuser Busch product. Yeah, whatever. That's my go-to, but and I mean, that's I got tied a big to the variety. Right, I right. just what I love, Mark, is every time these guys crack these Bud Lights, they're supporting my St. Louis Cardinals. I love that is, it. Yep, that's right. You know, the brewery owns the Cardinals. Would to help them this, do this. So year. keep doing it, babe. Yeah, and help them this year. So that's fine. <laughs> hey, we, hey, we slid into the playoffs. I didn't expect it. Y'all had we hope. did we did call it out. But y'all did. <laughs> yeah. I was like, we ain't going nowhere. Well, At least we, tra- we got. We were trying to do a reverse psychology. Like, oh, you guys were making, then you guys don't fucking. But make you got to give my guys that. credit, man. We almost took it to them Dodgers. We almost had them. Well, you go on like a twenty some game win streak. Yeah, that like, was pretty sweet. And then we fired a manager. Yeah, <laughs> who's from Charlotte, by the way. <laughs> so. All right, I got two more. Go ahead. All right, I got it. We have to ask every guest this: What's your most feared animal? Yeah, this is something that this is this is driveway conversation post post like post show. Like, are we talking like animal? Or are we talking like anything not human? Uh, spider, spider. Okay. okay, I saw one today. I was sitting in a chair and one dropped right in front of me You're like, in the that. office. You're right. Come and on, I took off. People were laughing. Did you squeal like a woman? Oh yeah, you did for sure, for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because if I'm that way with a snake. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling I'm you right now, you I'm squealing, I'm running, I hate it. I can kill one, but I was telling people that like sneak ups on me. Oh, like yeah. if you're walking in the yeah. woods and yeah. the snake, you right, right. Oh, gosh. no, 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 I hate them. I mean, you could be sitting right there with a snake as long as you don't fuck with me with it. Right, I'm good. Yeah. The worst thing about spiders when you find one in your house, 
and then like you throw a shoe at it or something like that, and then it moves and you can't find it. It disappears. And yeah. then you and then like you move like the couch when it goes under the couch and you can't find and it. And guess what? He remembers it. Exactly. So. And he goes back and tells his buddies that you can't see. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's waiting for you to so, fall asleep so he can like crawl around. Exactly. So when I was younger, my sister worked at a movie theater and she would babysit me. Mm-hmm. And then she took me into the movie. She's like, all right, sit here. And she took me into Eight-Legged Freaks. Oh, fuck that. Oh, I was in for about two minutes and I was out. And and I was you, like, but I asked Justin that question. What is it about a spider that gets you? Like, I, what is it? Is it the way it moves? All of it. Yeah. Every single it's thing just, about it. Yeah, I have I have a really good friend that's the same way. He, I mean, he's big, you know, he's big football lineman. You could be a spider that big. And I asked him, I asked him that very question. He said it's just all them independent legs just moving on their own. Well, it's just like people that say a you small know? snake won't kill you, but a big one will. No. Have you seen a big spider? It like, oh yeah, they got the weird. I don't like no snake. Yeah. Okay. Dead snake. That's the best kind of snake. I'm Heard sorry. That. It is what it is. My next one is. We did this as a question on the podcast last week, and I just think it's a good it's a good question for people. What is your favorite or most memorable concert you've ever been to? Yeah, this was a good one. Yep. Um, so I thought about it a little bit when I was listening, and I mean, I heard Rebellion and stuff like that. Mine was Warp Tour. I think somebody else said that. I'm just not. because I got to see so many people, yeah. and I got introduced. Like, I walked in one time. And you're like checking the lineup, so who's going to be on what stage? And this band starts going, and this dude throws a, a metal trash can on his head and starts doing screamo in it. And then right. he got, and he's crowd surfing with it. Yeah. And I was like, well, who's that band? And I go home and I realize that I actually like their music. Right. Mm. So you got to see so many people. Um, so just the festival of that was great. Yeah, that's why I like about rock festivals. Like you said, you can hear these these people that you may never heard of. Yeah. Like Rebellion, I saw some guy from Britain. Yeah. Or this band from Britain, he was just fucking Which awesome. Which you uh, normally you wouldn't have. I wouldn't have heard of them. Yeah. Yeah. But I've never seen them solo, but at War Tour, I date remember. Yeah. Oh, really? Yep. Sweet. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. Nice. Um, I think that's all about all I got. Justin, you got any more? Uh, I, I, no. <laughs> Mark, if I think of one, we'll extend it out. But no, nah, I think that's all I got. The beer question, that was a good one, too. Hmm. Um, so he's a Miller Lite guy, too. So. Yeah. What's your guys' favorite beer, though? Um... Oh, that's a good one. I, I mean, just favorite. I guess it's Bud Light, y'all's. No, mine's just Into the White by 89. Uh, yeah, and that is a good one. I love that. I could I could drink that all day. I have to agree. Stephen brought that one on. That was a good one. My liver probably won't like it, but uh, I'll drink yeah, it all day. Yeah. That was a smooth beer. I and like I have that. to find a sink, but hey, shit. I'd probably say uh, Swell Rider, D9. Yeah. So that's, that's two good. D9s. Yeah, on a, on a hot day, yeah. Swell Rider, it'll... That's good. See, it's different times of year too. So, like summer, I'd probably say a land shark's my favorite, just because okay. it's light. Which, yeah. which, by the way, I was drinking those at Jack's mm-hmm. at the watch party. They were two fifty. Oh, okay. Well, that's a steal. We Get were it. killing them, man. We were killing them. But like, what Jesus. type? Like, I I'm, I like sours. I do I'm, too. Yeah. So you like sours? I as like well. sours. Um, it's coming up. You know, spring, summer. So there'll be some good ones coming out. Yeah. Um, but. These guys, I, I think I brought one on a couple of weeks ago. They actually liked the Wise Men. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty it was, good. It was really good. It was pretty good. So, cool. What about you, Mark? What's your favorite? If I got a go to, like I could have anything, it's probably Red Oak. Red Oak's good. Too. Red Oak's mm. good. Yeah. That's expensive. That's a good one. It's no shade, just expensive. <laughs> but it, it's a good one. <laughs> but if you walk to a place and you want a Red Oak and they say seven dollars, but I've walked into a place and they said four dollars. Four dollars is still seven dollars is, is a yeah. rip off. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Just give me a beer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it is what it is. All right, so cool. We're done with 29 and the get. Oh, we're doing 29 now. We had to do All right, so episode 29, we're going to talk about, you know, this is something that we came up with a couple weeks ago. It's a new segment. We should Jer- have a name for this. Yeah, Jersey Identification. <laughs> I don't know what we call it. Um, but we come up with number. famous, famous athletes that wear the number that wore that particular episode number. Yeah. We had a couple of rough ones in between that 25 and 29. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but yeah, twenty nine. I've got a couple, and uh, you want to let the guests go first? Yeah, man. You want? So go? I got one. Pitcher for the Braves, John Smoltz. Yep. Dude, fucking go. animal. Too. Also pitched for the Cardinals at the end of his career. Yeah, Fuck but he's better with the Braves. <laughs> <laughs> Quit hating, man. Steven, you want to go? Um, Eric Dickerson. No, oh, okay. Yeah, but I got that was on my list. Let me cross that off. No oh, shit. Sorry. Good job. No, it's good. good dude, do hey, dude was a beast. But oh, yeah, you guys good. ever play NFL Street too? Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, dude was a fucking animal. Yeah, on that absolutely. Game. Yeah. I always got Eric Dickerson, and then I didn't give a shit who else. Dude, that was like Bo Jackson on Tech Mobile. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, you, you weren't man. stopping Dickerson yes. at Apple Street too. Yeah. Um, Justin, you got one? 
I got plenty. I got I got some. I, I, go ahead. I, this know, is, I had to Google some. This is actually this one. This was the first one that came to my 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 brain when I was thinking about this because he was coming on. Mm. Barry Foster. Okay. Former Steeler, former Panther. So I wore twenty nine with both of them. First mm. year of the Panthers. Over my head to Dunhill. Yeah, guys, we so. got him yep. from Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. Right. Um, Thanks. So, Barry Dang Foster. <laughs> so, I figured that was a tie-in with Mark. Yep. So. Well, I got another tie-in with Mark. Um, He doesn't wear this number now, but Minka Fitzpatrick. Yep. Wore 29 with yep, Miami. That's right. That's no. Right, that's right. That's a good one. Yeah. Yep. Well, you got another one? Uh, Eric Berry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's no. a great story on him. I don't mm. have one. He's the cancer, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cancer, yep. right? yeah. I think it was, I think it was leukemia, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I, y'all got Smoltz. I had him on there too. Uh, how about this? Was one you know since we started covering? Well, this is this is Braves tied in. Y'all might not remember this guy. Uh, played for his, most of his career. Played for Toronto, but he did end up playing with the Braves, hey, where he wore twenty seven with the Braves, but he wore twenty nine for a long time with Toronto, and that's Fred McGriff. McGriff. Yep. Played first base. The crime dog. Yeah, McGriff. You guys know who McGriff is? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. About him, yeah. Come on, McGriff. McGriff. Come on. Google it. Yeah. yeah. And then I had NASCAR. My guy, Kevin Harvick. Wore it for forever. When he first started to Boy, go for Earnhardt. It. Drove it. He, he wore it. When, <laughs> when he raced for Childress, he was 29 Goodrich. No one, no one's driving 29 right now. No, it? I don't think so. I even went through the whole roster. I, I can't don't find think anybody so. driving that yep. right now. So hmm. that, was, that was the ones I had. That was all the ones you had? Well, one Cardinal y'all won't know. Vince Coleman, he used to lead the league in stolen bases every year. What about Chris Carpenter? Didn't he wear 29? Yeah, I believe he did. I believe he did. Yep, I believe he did. Good one. Good one. I I Googled most of these, so I'm not going to go fucking lie. And he's Um, a Cy Young guy. How did I forget that? All my Panther ones I knew off the top of my head. Who who you got? I mean, we got Rashawn Melvin, so I'm going to take that one. That's current. You got Melvin. (laughs) Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Mike Mike Adams. Mike Adams. I totally forgot about that. That's right. Yeah, Dean Marlowe. Guess where he went. Fucking Steelers. Yep. After he played for us. Yeah. That's right. D. Sure Marlowe. D. Marlowe. Mr. Bat. Which I really kind of wish we would have kept because he's killing it in Buffalo. Yeah. Yep. That, that was that was the guy that started the whole OBJ Josh Norman thing. Yeah. That's what pissed OBJ off was he was walking around with, with the, the bat. fucking bat. With the bat. He's yeah. the one that came out with the bat. Yeah. Yeah. And one more, uh, Drayton Florence. Drayton okay. Florence. Nice. Nice. Cool. Um, but there, I mean, there was a ton. Um Andre Beltre or Adrian Beltre. Adrian yep. Beltre. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did with 20. Uh, Tyreek Cohen yep. for the Bears. Yep. Mm. And last one I got is Earl Thomas. When he ah, played for, Earl Thomas for Seattle. Yeah, Seattle. Yep. Yep. When he flipped them off. You remember that? <laughs> Fuck him. You remember that? Yeah, fuck him. Hey, I'll agree with that, though. <laughs> FYT, Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. I've got I've got a couple more. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, Joseph Adai. R- Colts running back. Okay. DeMarco oh, yeah, Mur- that's right. That's DeMarco right. Murray. Michael Murray. Cowboys. Um, Yep, and then Paul Silas, former head coach of the Bobcats, hey. when he played. Damn, whose son that. coaches now? Who is he coach for now? Houston. Oh, well, there. Who's kicked our asses? Yeah, yeah. But we won't, but, we won't, let's not go to Hornets right he, now. I'll get pissed off. But he's they're terrible though. Yep. So all right, so we're going. That, that's it. We good. We're good with that one. Yep. All right, so let's talk about Major League Baseball. Yeah, we got which to. We, we're all pissed off right now. I yep. think everybody is, but except um, for the commissioner. But, yep. you know, you guys should be more pissed off probably than me, or it might be reversed, because y'all are defending champs. And you got to defend that crown, man. You got to defend the title. The only thing I like about this is maybe with this extended period of time, Freddie will come to his senses. And, and he pay, might. He might. Say, hey, and he may. come back to the Braves, he baby. Might, he might. be like, fuck it. Yeah. But, yeah, I think as before we started recording, um, it's looking like the 31st opening day is going to be delayed. Yeah, they had until 5 um, p.m. today to right. come up with the and a bargain agreement. They, 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 you know, as we say, shit to bed. <laughs> it didn't work. Yeah. Um, so right now, Major League Baseball up in the air. They're still negotiating. You know, like Stephen was talking about outside. What are they negotiating about? What do you guys think? Well, they always negotiate about money, I mean. freaking money. And Stephen had a good concept. You know, hey, how about let's give some money back to the fans? Be a crazy thought. What a concept! I mean, we pay their paychecks anyways. Yep. Yeah. We buy the merchandise, buy the tickets, we buy the. But we know. get we get to pay the fourteen dollar beer. Y'all were talking about hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, twelve dollar hot. Dogs. Hey, we all want a hot dog right now, but I don't know if there's too many hot dogs good enough to be fourteen dollars. <laughs> that thing better be two feet long. <laughs> so, I need to be eating that thing for a week. Yeah. That's what she said. Uh, nice. <laughs> yeah. So it is what it is. It's a family show. Um, but yeah, man. Since when? Right, right now. Yeah. Nothing to report other than possibly opening day being delayed. 
Yeah, it's just bad news, bad news all around. It sucks. Mark, you said you had something about well, it, didn't you? You know, the good news is, as of right now, as far as we know, the Atlanta Braves are the last World Series champs. That's that's correct. I mean, <laughs> and, and, and that's another good thing for it being delayed. You, you get to just keep saying yeah, you're yeah. the you're champ, you're the champ. We so. get to relish in it even longer. And, you know, as, like you were saying earlier, Mark, as long as they had, you know, as long as it went past that they had even been there. I mean that was that was a good thing for the Braves, man. They've had so many good teams through all the won all those division titles, man. They they deserved it, man. They 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 were playing the best baseball in the playoffs last year. Sure, they were. They got hot, and I got to experience with these two guys because they were. Oh man, these guys were something, man. They look like me because I'm the same way during the you know my my team's in it. Man, I'm all in it, man. I'm in front of the TV, acting crazy. So yeah, I think we all showed up at a watch party, didn't we? Yeah, yeah all we three, did. All we three did. of us, we did. And yeah, no, you were there. No disrespect to the Canes, but I was not yeah, watching that. I remember yet. that. I was like keeping up with the Canes guy. Y'all were over there, and I'd be like, I hey. think you 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 did come to a watch party. He he did. You did come to you did come there. He because, did because I talked to him. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was fire gracious. all night. But uh, then we because he had his Braves jersey on. Yeah. the – he, but me and uh, me and Justin went to one. I think you were actually at the the Braves game, the NLCS. Nah, That's yeah, right. Yeah, and we went, and me and Justin are just glued. To, like it's like opening day for Hurricanes. We don't we care. Yeah, but I know. it's Braves postseason. Yeah. Like we don't give two fucks about the Canes. You know what? One and zero record at the time. I would have probably been in the same way. Yeah, I mean I would have. Um, Teresa, you know, my wife's not here right now. She would tell you, guys. I've said it before. When I finally pass away on my tombstone, one of the big things on that tombstone is going to be the Cardinals killed him. Because <laughs> I have bitched about so much Cardinal baseball over the years. But, you know, it is what it is. That's what makes us fans. So, no. But, yeah, I got to figure – and right now at the state of our football team, not yours, I have to figure out a way to decompress or something because they're going to kill me early. So we'll get into that later. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to go to Charlotte FC. We're all done Major League? I, I think we're done. Anybody else? Anything else to say? Did, would, you, would you good, Justin? Yeah, man. Besides Derek Jeter stepping down as CEO. Oh, yeah. yeah. I did see that. That's right, he did. And that was like, that was abrupt. I mean, yeah, that, it was. I heard it was see a discrepancy with money. Yeah, I'd heard that too. Oh, go figure. Yeah. yeah so. He doesn't have enough money already. No, no. Not, not Jeter. And then he's talking about, I guess, the Yankees wanting to join the organization. And can we just talk about how shady it was Derek Jeter going to be the CEO of the Marlins? Yeah, it was. And all of a sudden, Stanton gets traded to hmm, the Yankees. Where did he play for 25 years? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it happens, man. That's No, come on. No, that's way too convenient. That but that's y'all the know fucking how, team y'all he know goes how it works, to. Man. That was on the up and up. I can't believe you'd think that. Did they not send D.D. Gregorius over there, too? Pretty sure. Maybe. I don't know. I just remember Stanton, though. I'm pretty sure the same over there, too. That was the trade-off. <laughs> I mean, it's... We'll give you Jeter. <laughs> we'll give you Jeter. Give us that guy. It's so, fucking ridiculous. Yeah, so... That's right. a good one, Mark. I had forgotten about that. So, yep. So... All right. Now we'll go Charlotte FC, correct? Yeah. And uh, historic event. First game in the in the franchise history at uh, DC United, mm-hmm. and we had I did see man and friends of the show Chris a bunch of bunch of those guys they did go mm-hmm. made the trip, um, good for them that, that's, that's supporting the franchise and um, I think I saw an estimated there were three hundred Charlotte fans up there, yeah, they um, so that's cool man. I think they were rowdy, rowdy man. I mean that's cool man. Yeah. I mean they ended up losing three zero, but it was not a three zero game mm. and. I think you had you had t- you had text during the game. That first goal they disallowed for Charlotte was BS. I said, th- oh, dude, we got hosed. I did hosed not, I did not see a fucking offsides. On and, that. and I'm not even a big soccer guy, which we've documented on this show. But I was actually coming home and I was listening to it on the radio, the Charlotte FC broadcast. And you should have heard him, man. They was like, we got hosed on that call. So, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Offside is when the offensive player passes the defenseman, right? Mm-hmm. Like, there's not a defensive behind him. Right. So, when he jumped to do the header, the defensemen were in front of him. Right. Maybe, maybe his head yeah. was past it, but, like, right. I mean, he was going for a header. So, were they were they behind him before the ball was kicked? I don't know. I don't – no, it didn't look like it to me, but obviously they reviewed it and they pulled, called it back, so obvious, obviously they were. Cause so I, I, but I, it didn't look like it to me. I don't know the actual rules, but I think once the ball is in the air, yeah. if he's past them, right. it's offsides. Well, I mean, it, you know, it's similar to hockey, and that's what everybody always talks about. It's hockey, all that kind of stuff, you know, with the blue line and all mm. that crap. But in hockey, it's pretty pretty easy to see. Soccer, if the ball's in the air, you know, I I don't know. Yeah, man. I just I read a lot of stuff after the game, and there were several. I guess 
not just Charlotte FC fans, but just soccer fans mm-hmm. who were saying that they thought that was a bad call. That, it, that, it, that goal should have been allowed. It didn't look right to me, but yeah. either way, hell of a hell of an effort. Yeah, man. I mean, it wasn't a three nothing game. No, I thought they played well. I'm just talking about that that header for oh, the goal. Absolutely. I mean, it was a hell yeah. of an effort. If you guys didn't see it, you should look yeah. it up. I mean, it, it it was great. I think it was the guy that tried to get it was Tito T D Ortiz. Yeah. So Tito Ortiz. T D. But I, I mean, th- I said Tito Ortiz, but it's T D. T I T I. T D. Teddy. Teddy. Mark, you a big soccer fan? T D Ortiz. I do enjoy. I I grew up. I uh, love watching the um, the World Cup. Yeah, yeah and, and, and that's, yeah. that's that's what me. That's all I've, I've ever really watched. Yep. Um. So yeah. I, I mean, I'm going to support the home team from sure. Charlotte. Of course, we're going to do that. And we said that on this show, but we got a lot to learn. Um. You know, with pro- you know, pronouncing names and stuff like that, Steve. Not getting fun. Close. Steven loves it. He. You know, he's our guy. That he. He's our uh, translator. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. He's our Google. <laughs> it's, you know, uh, jerseys wise, I'd love to have a soccer jersey. Yeah, and and and, and yeah. just to inform me, it's called a kit. It's a kit. Yeah. Thanks, guys. And actually, I have, and and I just so you don't get called out. <laughs> don't want to go to the bar and say that. <laughs> Mark, you'll disagree with this, but. I, I'm a huge fan of the of the Panther blue jersey. I think it's one of the best looking in the NFL, my personal opinion. And when they did their kit the same color, I was definitely going to get one. Sure. I mean, I'm not even a big soccer guy, so I have mine on order. It's already in route. So the black ones are pretty cool, too, with the Mint City thing. It's, it's pretty cool, too. But I thought it looked really good on TV with the blue socks and all that. I thought it, I thought it looked good. Uh, but hey, man, hats off to you know the effort to get that franchise here. Um, Chapper's owning it, so hopefully it won't go in the can. Yeah, we'll go there. I'm gonna say it. I don't care. Um, but like, don't you say it. I, I, I'm, I'm a, I have a get off my lawn involved with that, and we'll talk about that later. But I don't want to crap on the Charlotte FC fans and all that crap because they are hyped for this. Well, so DC, good for them. DC crapped on that. Yeah. So so <laughs> good. Us. So so good for them, man. I'm glad that, that we got the team and and everybody's excited about it. So, um, anything else about that game, guys? We're talking no, about the upcoming. I do game. have a question yeah. for Mark about the World Cup. Go. Who do you pull for? <laughs> mm. Do we need to do it, guys? No. Wait. No. Wait. <laughs> USA, 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 USA. USA. Well, be- right. before that was before a good they one. were in it, that was a good one. For? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When they expanded, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So before 1776, who did you pull for? <laughs> yeah. Well, Britain, of course. Well, you know they weren't in yeah. it. Brazil. The last one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I think I was pulling for Mexico because I was currently married. Rip. Gotcha. <laughs> 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 hey, been there, done that, boy. <laughs> this is not a. This is a public service announcement. <laughs> don't get married. You said rip. Okay, what is now? He pulls for everybody against Mexico. <laughs> don't just, uh, yeah, he's anti. I'm, who the fuck goes to war? <laughs> so we'll move right along on that one. <laughs> I was gonna say I usually pull for like uh, England or something like that, but you just well, took it to a whole different side. Like, I'm for Canada. Name like Smith, I pull for England. Yeah. <laughs> so, Maybe Pisa Ireland. Wow. I don't know. Justin, I, that was a good one, man. I gotta yeah. give you that one. You kinda threw a curve. Are we good? Are we good though? Yeah, sorry guys. Okay, we're good, we're good. You, you, <clears throat> bent, you bent it like Beckham over there. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no, no hanger going on. <laughs> so. I got half a sandwich over there. Okay. All right, cool. Let's regroup. <laughs> I'm hurting. <laughs> so but now nah, anything else? No. Upcoming game, home opener. No, this... I, th- no, I thought we're at I thought we we're at LA. Mm-mm. No, no, it's here. I'm going. I'm going to that game. Yeah, the next one's at it's home. Saturday at seven thirty at Bofa. See, see, ESPN fucked me. Yeah, because you, yeah, Bleacher Report. Join yep. the Bleacher Report. Usually the home, the home team's on the bottom. Yeah, no, mm. it's here. Um, I got some, I got some upper deck Just tickets. I'm going, which is to get me at a soccer match. People would have been like, no way. Um, but you know, I got somebody offered me a couple of tickets. We were like, hey, let's go to the opener. Why that? And, and I don't know if y'all paid attention. They've already sold over 70,000 tickets. Dude, soccer's big, man. And they're trying to break, like, at the Atlanta, you know, their team last week, they opened up, like, with 65,000, and we're already going it projected to beat that record. So, but what the Shot FC is trying to do is sell out, which would be 74. So, right now, they're at 70. That's pretty sweet, guys. I mean. Uh, because everybody wants to be there. It's an event, all that stuff. Um, Like I said, I'm going. I'm not a big soccer guy, but I'm going, so – uh, 7.30 Saturday at BOFA against the L.A. Galaxy. And in case I haven't said it on this show, FYTLA. FYTLA. 
So, and y'all got to learn the chants. They put something out on Twitter today. It was like the chant cheat sheet. <laughs> All these chants that they do. Mm. Um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah. so, can you can you kind of no, practice with us right know, now? I don't know any of them. Yeah. Start chanting. I've got a copy of it. I haven't. All right, you didn't, you didn't correct me outside. The- you're drinking a shiner. I said yeah, you're drinking. You said you're drinking a. I was like, oh, you're drinking a bang. No, it's a shiner, man. Oh, okay, well, you didn't correct me. I oh man, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were getting like uh, your energy going. Oh no, man, this was like a leftover. So. I've heard shiner's pretty good too. Yeah, sorry, this, this one's yeah. Sorry. Okay, sorry. It's sorry. It's right. sh- regular shiner's good. Okay, so shot FC seven thirty. Uh, hopefully they can uh, pull out a win there. So all right, good. there we go. All right, so we're going nice car. Nice car. Nice car. Nice car. Going left. Who's going? Who, who wants to take it? You want to take it? You want me to do it? Don't you? I want, I, want, I want you to go for it. You want me to do it? Yeah, I want okay. you to go for it. So they were at Fontana. Fontana. <laughs> and the uh, race winner was Kyle Larson. Go, mm. go fucking figure. And you know, Larson dominated last year, man. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was a good race, man, I thought. Um your guy was dominating for Dude, a while. Dude, yeah. was fucking killing it. And, and Mark, in case you know, you listen to the show. We all picked a driver. Okay. Um, and he went with Reddick. He went with Truex, and I'm a Harvick guy. Yeah. Um, so I think Harvick ended up finished seventh. I didn't see where Truex finished. Thirteenth. Was yeah. it thirteenth? And your guy was dominating until he blew a tire. Yeah. And then I think Byron ran into him. Yeah. yeah. He did too, man. He just And he apologized. For it. Yeah, he, was he like, did. I don't even know what I did. He just got loose. Um, I mean, it happens. But it was a good race. I mean, I think overall it was a good race. Um, I know Chase Elliott got pissed off at Larson. Yeah. Um, well, he kind of come down. Well, <laughs> well, you heard um, a Larson spotter. The said spotter it was, took responsibility. He took responsibility. You know why that happened, right? Yeah. Rick Hendrick called up and said, take the blame. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got to squash that shit because <laughs> you got to squash that problem. Mm, so your two be- your two best drivers. Yeah, ex- yeah, exactly. But it was a good race, man. Um, Stuart Haas had they had four cars. They had four in the top sixteen because I pulled for Harvick, so I'd throw that in there. But uh, you know, Truex is running good. Mm. He really yeah. is. Truex, like I said, he won two stages at Daytona. Yeah, he's running um, steady. I yep, think he is. He, yeah, he's solid, man. But this week they're in Phoenix. Mm. I think I think that's where they're going next. Yep. Phoenix. So, like I said, we're going to try to talk about NASCAR a little bit more, um, pick up on it. But we'll uh, we'll do some updates on the standings, too, guys, with our drivers, yeah. just to see where we're at after a couple of races. So, so, Mark, are you a fan of NASCAR at all? Definitely not Ryan Blaney. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. I got I, Apparently, I, I made Mark mad. <laughs> I personally think the guy can drive, but, you know, it is what it is. You not, friend like of the, not friend of the show. Not friend of the show. <laughs> and Mark proclaims it, so he's not. <laughs> so, you know, we talked about our numbers. He drives 12. That's my favorite number, so. Well, you better pick a different driver. <laughs> and I, I mean, I, I like Blaney okay. He's, not he's a good favorite. driver. He's not he my is. favorite driver, but, I mean, I like him a lot. Mark, you got a favorite driver? You, yeah, if you could pick one. Brian Blaney. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting Any, anybody but Blaney. We're getting mixed signals here. <laughs> anybody but Blaney. Whoever's right ahead of Blaney. Actually, right behind him, just hit him right in the back. <laughs> Damn. Take him out. <laughs> anybody but Blaney. <laughs> he's got the field. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, he's definitely winning then. Because Blaney ain't winning. I'm not then. even going to ask why. Yeah. I'm not. Because I, I got a feeling there's a story no. that maybe we don't need to talk about. Am I, am I right, Mark? Yeah, we're good. I can read you. I'm looking That's at you. That's my extent of NASCAR, okay, though. Cool. You know? Maybe we'll talk about that off the air. <laughs> but there you go. I worked for Charlotte Motor Speedway. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah. So Was it Lowe's then? Yeah. Okay, cool. But what did you do there? I interned uh, for security, so I worked a bunch of races. Oh, okay. And um, I worked the the dirt, the the motocross. I worked the, what is it, the 600 or 500? 600. Co- Coca-Cola. Yeah, 600. Yeah, 600. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Um bunch of different bits. I worked the uh, four wide there. Got to be like right behind it when they took you, off. Did you do, and we sure. talked about possibly going out there and if as anything a group. to go to, go to the four wide. Really? The drag. It's yeah, one drag. of the only places yeah. that has four wide because most of them are two. It's crazy, mm-hmm. man. And I got to be like right behind it. How loud is it? It's freaking loud. I, I was right behind it, but I've also been at the very top with earplugs in and still I mean it it rattles the place. You know what I was Shit. waiting on? I was waiting on Mark to go, what? <laughs> So, what well, we, we talked I got about my it. hearing back last year was, was it last show we talked about maybe going out there or maybe the show yeah, before Z, yeah, yeah. Z, yeah, yeah Z-Max yeah. yeah so I've never been I, I think that'd be cool great so. time well I know me and Justin we've been to Wilkesboro yeah and I've been in the Mooresville drag strip cool so oh yeah my cousin drives the uh, races at the Mooresville oh cool drag strip, so. but yeah I, I've been to I've been to Z-Max but nothing it wasn't anything crazy it was nothing really going on yeah. mm. I think it was cool. some Christmas thing I ran a 5K there. Nice. 
It was cool. What the hell and, was that? It's, your, <laughs> it's a dog or something. Oh, it's a window open again. <laughs> All right, anything else NASCAR guys? Sorry. <laughs> uh, nope. Go Reddick. All right, so we're gonna go and that. Look, I'm a. I always let y'all take this one. I'm gonna let y'all take this one because these guys are pissing me off right now. You talking about the Hornet? Yes. Well, we're going to the Hornet guy. So, Harry take it away, Hornet guy. Well, there for a second, we was playing pretty good for one game. We whooped uh, Toronto's ass. Which is pretty surprising because Toronto always kicks their ass. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 123-93. Rozier and Oubre had 23 points. And Harrell had 20 and 10 off the bench. And then we took a downfall and lost to Detroit in overtime. Um, I know Doug's pissed about that one. Uh, that was a one-point game. Yeah. Uh, Rozier went off 33 points. And How did we lose? We beat double. the Pistons 15 straight freaking times. It's because we talked about it. Uh, yeah. And and you know what? If my wife was here, she would blame me because I said that that night. I was yep. like, you know, we beat them 15 straight times. And I looked at her and I said, I shouldn't have said that. And the yep. answer's correct. So it's my fault. Yep. Way to go, Doug. Good job. If you say anything about the Duke Carolina game tonight, I will smack it. Oh, I'm going to say some. It, yeah, I know what we do. Duke's awesome. It's Duke. Yeah. They're freaking Duke's awesome. Great. Duke's amazing. We'll get to that later. Yeah. Duke hate week. Um, then we got smacked by the Bucks. 130, 106. Dude, that which, which they owed us. Yeah. <laughs> they that did. wasn't even close. They, but they owed us. <laughs> I think the only thing good thing that came out of that was Ball had 24 points. That's all I wrote down. Because that was the only thing good I saw. You know what? And you would be correct. Yeah. I mean, we got outscored by 23 in the second quarter. Yeah. And that rebounded 62 to 41. We got smacked. Like, Akatumbo just murdered us. Yeah. It was ugly. What do yeah. you have, like 19 rebounds, 18 rebounds? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was pushing 20, that's for damn sure. So, yeah. So, am I right on this, guys? My last count was we've lost, is it 11 of 13? It's pretty damn close. Is that yeah. correct? Because mm-hmm. I believe it was 10 of 12 before the Bucks game. I think that was right. 11 of 13? That ain't good. 11 of 13 what? We've lost 11 of 13 games. So we won two games in the last thirteen games. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and we got. I, mean, I saw today we got twenty left. Do we have to spell it out for you? I didn't know what yeah. time period he was talking no, no, about. No, no, <laughs> Our last thirteen games. I mean, we, we lost eleven. But you didn't say last thirteen. Yeah. You said we've 11 lost of 13. eleven of thirteen. I meant that would be recent. <laughs> of our last thirteen games. Yes, there I didn't know go. I had to add last in there. Yeah. Wait. Well, hey, by the way, <laughs> do you guys know our <laughs> win loss record in overtime games? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh and seven. Oh and six. I think it was seven. You're wrong, Doug. Does it, does it matter? No, it doesn't. We don't have a fucking dub. <laughs> does it matter? <laughs> so, 0-6, 0-7, it doesn't know, matter. We're fucking losing. As of today, <laughs> we've got 20 games left in the regular season. Yeah, we're not yeah. doing shit. So, oh, but hey, good news. We signed Isaiah Thomas. I did see that. Hey. I think I think Mike did that as a joke. Dude. Because you know after 10 days, he's going to cut his ass just to piss off his dad. <laughs> That's not his dad. Well, do, do, do you realize well, he has no relation to the well, Isaiah but Thomas? But that's what people are always saying. Okay. So, you, but that's you know, what people said they were going to do. Do that. you know why he has that name? No. His, his dad lost a bet to somebody. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. But there were people <laughs> talking about on Twitter. They were saying that Jordan did that just to piss off Isaiah Thomas. Oh my god! Because you know they have that rivalry going if, on. If Jordan did that, he's more worried about that rivalry back from thirty but you years know, ago. Jordan's pretty petty, man. You need to be worried about the fucking franchise that's losing right now. Yeah. Not a fucking rival you had 30 right. years ago. So, but it's a 10 day contract. Wasn't that what it was? Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking veteran presence. Whatever. Well, you got rid of Ish. Yeah. So, what do you got back there? You, you really don't have right. anything. Mm. So, it is what it is. But you got 20 games left. Yeah, but, you know, we're getting out rebounded by like 30, and we sign a point guard that's 5 2. That's yeah. fine. And Let's we get it. and still never re- well we went and got Harold but still. I mean, I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going on. The team to me is just falling apart. I, I and and Hayward's still not back. Is he coming back? Probably not. No. I mean, Cupcheck said he was our best player. Did y'all see that? Well, I mean, based off one losses. I mean, that's what he ar- said. Can you argue? That's exactly what he said. He said he's our best player. So, might be. Well, well, Brent. Mark, Mark, any thoughts about the Hornets at all? Go Hornets! <laughs> <laughs> You're the hopeless. Uh, that was the hopeless optimist. Optimist. I just, yeah. I just remember people were so like freaked out about Ball. That dude is. Oh, he's a man. Yeah, he's oh, a, a man. man. 
I mean, he is fucking. I, He's I didn't, fun to watch. I didn't want him. I, I'll be the first to admit when we, when we draft him, I was like, "Fuck!" And I'm gonna be honest because with you. of his dad. It, we talked about that, Steve. We it, want it the, was the, it was the It was the baggage. Man. Yeah. yeah, but uh, the, the dude's a culture changer. It's kind of yeah. been kept at bay if you think about it. I haven't heard. I haven't really heard yeah, him say anything. Been kind of quiet. So, uh, but now nah, balls the man. You, you got to give him credit. Oh hell yeah! So, but real quick, we are thirty and thirty three, and our next game is against Cavs, and the Cavs always whoop our ass. Always, with so, no one on our, that team. So, but they're like fourth or fifth in the East somehow. So we going for twelve of our last fourteen. What I noticed, I added last in yeah. there, Mark. Did you see that? I oh, said yeah. last. Thank you, Doug. I'm just messing with you, man. <laughs> you know, it's old guys. <laughs> just say it. Go ahead. <laughs> so we're Fuck going Canes. I do. I actually want to ask. Oh, hey, I wanted to ask you guys. Did you guys? I know me and Justin talked about it. Did you guys see John Morant drop fifty two last Yes. Time? That was fucking crazy. I think that they said Mark, it was the first it? fifty point game in in Grizzlies history. Probably, yeah, wow. it was. Yeah, and he was going. Did y'all see that dunk? Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that's candidate of dunk of the year. Oh yeah, that was pretty sweet. And then you guys see that pass by uh, Joe Kicks? That thing was dirty. Holy shit! Dirty, dirty. When he fucking, you got a call. <laughs> no, I'm going to take a piss. <laughs> there you go. When he he dude he wasn't even looking. It was like behind like. Behind his back, led the guy, hit him right in right, right in his fucking hands. Well, it went, right. it went through the other defender's hands yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, it was just fucking yeah. crazy. So it was crazy. But now we can go to games. That's pretty. That it was pretty sweet. Yeah, I just wanted to bring those things up because those those are fucking dope. So we've got the canes on in the background. Just came on, and yeah. we hit the segment right when the game comes up. So, oh, that, that, hey, that's timing. It is. Uh, Our Kane, is th- I said this to somebody um, yesterday about. My teams and what my consistent winning team is right now. Mm-hmm. It's games. Oh yeah, I mean, without a doubt. What first in the East? I mean, the Tar Heels. We're all Tar Heel fans. I mean, I mean, Tar Heels. Have, I mean, they're better. They've done well, man. Come on, they're, they're third in the ACC, and and we're gonna talk about that later. Mm. I've got some thoughts on that, mm-hmm. but the consistent winner that I've had this year has been the Canes. Yeah, I mean, well, they now, are they, Stephen. Are they now still? Are they still three or four points out of the total overall? Um, I think they're th- last week it was four, three now. Yeah, for the President's Cup. Mm-hmm. Yep. So they're thirty-seven, eleven to four oh, with seventy-eight points. First in the East, they overtook Florida. Yep. Um, second in the league, I think, to still to Colorado. Um, still first in the in the Metropolitan. Yep. Um, they went four in the last last few games. They went one four zero against the Blue Jackets, two and one against the Oilers. Um, and their next game is tonight, as we, as we said, the Red Wings. Red Wings. Yep. And Trip sure. Tracy, look, Trip Tracy. Yeah. So, Mark, you've never you never really gotten to hockey yet, right? I want to go to a game really bad. Oh, dude, they're electric. Yeah, electric. Um, I went to my first two games last year. I went to a regular season game and a playoff game. Yeah. The playoff games, nuts, unbelievable. Like just everybody, just the, just the fans, just yeah. el- are just out of their seats. They're twirling their shirts. People are shirtless, chugging beers, germs. I mean, oh god. I'll say this, Mark. Um, and you'll hear this from hardcore hockey fans. Hockey playoff hockey. There's nothing like playoff hockey. Yeah, I mean it is. It is. It's crazy. And you've been. Yeah. It is. It's another level. Mm. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, a Canes game. You say you've never been to a Canes game. Nope. You've been to a Checkers game. I did when I was younger. Yeah. yeah. So it, it, it hockey's one of those sports, man. You see it in person. It's a whole lot. I guess cooler in person. Yeah, that's something I guess we, it's like NASCAR. It's something we take granted for is the checkers. I've never been to a checker game. Yeah, I've been to several. Um, and it's a good. It's a good. It's a good time. Yeah, to go out there. Yeah, it's like the Knights. You got the Knights. They always. You know, it's a good stadium. It's a, it's a good atmosphere because they play in bow jangles, right? Yep. Yeah. So, and they at one point were the Canes. You know, my league team. Oh that, yeah. That relationship went this way. Went sour. Yeah, there was there was some. I think there was some uh, politics involved in that, but we won't get into that. But Kane's looking good right now. Yep. Yeah, Aho leads leads the way with fifty five points. Shafkov there is fifty it is. points. And then Anderson is twenty nine and seven. <laughs> and now that Justin's back from his piss break, Steven's gonna take a piss break. Mark, come over in my lap real quick. It's fine. I can I, you guys uh, uh, we got a bunch of people going and out doing that. Um Wow, somebody fall down. <laughs> I did have a stat, um, for you guys, well, I know the upcoming game for the Canes. You got the Red Ring, Red Wings tonight, and then you got the Caps. Um, but they were talking about, um, I think it was, no, here it is. 
It was Sebastian Ajo. Said he is on a 92-point pace over 82 games. Um, he would be only the second player since the team relocated in 1997 to pass the 90-point mark. Wow. Ajo's, Ajo's good, man. I'm oh, going to tell yeah. you something, man. And he don't shy away from a fight in a second. Um, but I, I'm really impressed with Ajo. Um, he, to me, he's he's like the leader of that team. He's young as shit, too. Yeah, and, and we need to keep him. Yeah. So, but, yeah, I just want to throw that stat out there for Ajo, man. He kind of he kind of makes things go for that team. So, uh, hats off to Sebastian Ajo. Yeah. All right. Anything else, Canes? You are a ho. Yeah. A ho. <laughs> you see a girl wearing that jersey and you're like, hey, <laughs> you might want to specify. What we got? Panthers news next? We're going Panthers. Oh, boy. You you ready to talk about your Panthers there, Doug? I don't know, man. I'm, no, because I'm. I got a scenario for Mark. Because I'm really going? pissed off at the, at the move they did this week. Oh, yeah. Signing, aren't, aren't we all signing that that wonderful tight end Ian Thomas? Yeah, to a, a, a eight million guaranteed. Yeah, three three blah, 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 three, three years. Three years. Sixteen and a half million. Eighteen eight guaranteed. 18. Yeah, yeah. And like, what has he done? Nothing. And then it comes out the next day Sorry. that he is now being charged with five misdemeanors. Yeah, for basically running from the police. Right. On a, I think it dirt it, bike. It was a dirt bike with yep. no 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 uh, think of tag, and he's got a suspended license. But I don't really. I read a little bit into it. I mean, yep. he might get, a, you know, he oh, might yeah, get. He's not going to get. He's not. But this is the point of the thing. But he he let the team know after it happened. And that's that's my whole point of signing that contract. They knew about it, and still signed him. And I know it's five misdemeanors, but I don't care. It's still he was he was technically running from the cops. Yeah. So I got a problem with that. I don't know. I think a lot of this is they're looking at, oh, we might go grab a, a big quarterback. Right. And Ian Thomas might be a guy with a good quarterback. He might turn into a great tight end. Right. Not a great tight end, but a good tight end. A decent one. Yeah. And, and Steven, I know during the season, there was a couple of times, we there was one particular play. Remember we dropped the ball? Yeah. Him right and and we, me and you were both like, dude, it, the, the, the project's over. It's over. It's over. You know what? We've seen enough. This guy's got to go. Right. And then we go hand him eight million guaranteed. Well, I guess we're just so used to Greg Olson. Yep. Catching. Well, that's, anything. A, that's a pretty high standard. He catch a cold in the desert. You know what I mean? Yep. And then we got him. They can't. He can't catch nothing. I just personally, I don't understand. Who were you bidding against to, to sign him? I mean, who who were you bidding against? Right. I, I don't necessarily know that he would have drawn big money in free agency. Yeah. So I don't know. I. I, I I, I've just I, I've questioned the signing, but that's me. Somebody sees something they like. Well, exactly. well, I think their thought process is like he's been in offenses that tight end wasn't a feature, yeah. and now Ben McAdoo, he, the tight end is a feature in his offense. Right. Yeah. So they're like, well, let's keep what we got and see what we can do with it. But it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's going to be here. I mean, like I said, I know it's eight million guaranteed. Yeah. Um. But we'll see how long that contract is. It really a three year deal? You know what I mean, right? Or is it voidable? It probably. You know, you know, I didn't see any of that. So, other Panther news that I saw, guys, was uh, you know our new play by play guy. Yeah, that was announced today, and you guys know him from ESPN. Um, I mean, I was surprised because I didn't really even know he was in the running, you know, for that position. Um, I figured he was pretty locked up at ESPN doing what he does. But the guy we hired is is Anish Sharuf. Wow, that's pretty good. Yep. Hmm. So he's uh, he's good though. I mean, if you've seen him on ESPN, he did the, he did the Duke Mayo's Bowl. He he did that. Oh, did he really? Yeah. He's. I mean, he does a good job, man. He, he almost sounds a little bit like Steve Levy. He sounds a little bit like him on ESPN. I always like Steve Levy. But he does he does a good job, and I think it is a good hire. Um, and he's, he's, anything's he, better than Mick Mixon. I'm sorry. What? You didn't like Mick Mixon? I was not a Mick Mixon fan. What, what the Never fuck? have been. I'm a Tar Heel guy. I didn't like him with Carolina. He's a nice guy. I've met him three, four times. Nice guy. I just didn't like his commentary. Never did. Just thought he was kind of corny. I just lost respect for you, Doug. No, I just, I've never liked <clears throat> Mick Mixon. I've made that very clear. I'm talking about him as an announcer. As a guy, as a person, I like him. He's a nice guy. Did you like Minecraft? Yeah, he's all right. He's cool. Panthers.com. He was cool. I can't believe it. Dude, 
we took a picture of Mike Kraft. Yeah. He took my phone. I got, a a, I got a picture yeah. with Mick Mixon. Like I said, I liked the guy personally, but I just, I didn't like his style well, as, as a as a commentator. I didn't well, like him with the Tar Heels. Let me get off my lawn. I just didn't like him. Man. I thought he was stuff. goofy, man. Dude, you are you trying to get on my lawn back back on I'm my lawn after the whole man. Bucks fiasco? I was now a, you're, I just, was, you're just digging the older way, man. I was yeah. a Rosinski fan, man, when we had him. He was the man. So whatever. Mick Mick is just a legend. Mark, you got any Panther news? No, I, I I did have the Ian Thomas thing down. Oh, okay. I got a scenario for Mark. All right. As a non Panther fan, mm-hmm. I want his opinion on how to fix our franchise. And and there's no wrong right answer. No, here. so you're the GM. Just come in, tell me what you would do right off the bat. Well, we're, nobody sold on Sam Darnold, so let's fix that right off the bat. Okay. So would you trade for a quarterback or would you draft one? Or sign one, I guess. Yeah. What can you do with Sam right now? I mean, you got to trade him away. Well, I mean, you're Go stuck some, with him right now. We picked up the $18 million option, so we're paying him $18 million. Yeah, yeah, you're no stuck what. right now. Yeah, so if we, tra- if we trade him, they're, they're going to get that $18 million cap hit. So, nobody's so really I don't know that. if anybody's really going to take that unless you eat. I would say unless we just say we eat it. Either we yeah. eat it or eat majority of right, it. Right. Yeah. Do you draft? Because right now it's not a it's not a huge or a very good quarterback draft. And you're right. sitting number six. You're with sitting the pick. at six. You need offensive linemen. Right. So what do you do? Well, you just eat it for a couple of years. I hate it because I thought that Tom Brady would be back this year. Yeah. And then I always said, just find somebody. This yeah. was a couple of years ago. I said, just find somebody. Rebuild your team. Don't worry, Drew Brees will be gone in a couple of years. Tom will be gone in a couple of years. You guys you're, will you're own good. the South yeah. again. Yeah. yeah. And now we've kind of shot ourselves in the foot. Now. Well, who did you want us to have last year? You were really big on this quarterback coming out. You 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 told me multiple times you guys oh, need to go for. Um, who'd you like? Say it. Um, but, nah, it's fucking blank. That was named Bears quarterback. Fields. Oh, Fields. yeah, Justin, Justin Fields. Fields. See, I was complete opposite. Of I I wanted him, guys, for you. I did. I didn't mind. Never him. big on him. I no. kind of wanted him. I didn't. I um, never did. I don't. I, I think in three years he'll be better than Sam Darnold. And, and he, oh, I think right now he's better than Sam Darnold. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just, I just never was big on. And that's I, look, I'm not throwing shade at, at Fields. He, I just didn't. He wasn't who I wanted. He just yeah. didn't pop for you. No, he did personally. No, and I, and I do think he's going to be pretty good. Yep. It's just not. I just, I wasn't sold on him. I mean, I got, I got to ride the names. Ohio State quarterback, well, Alabama quarterback. You got to go for those guys. Well, and, but, but, but that's been a knock on Ohio State is they haven't produced decent quarterbacks. Yeah. I mean, hell, you got one of them in Pittsburgh right now <laughs> that they threw away a first round draft pick. Yeah. You know, so I mean, that that's the whole thing, the knock up on the Ohio State quarterbacks. But it wasn't that for me. I just we talked about this last week, guys. I want a pocket passer. I want a drop back passer. I want Josh Allen. I, I'm sick of these mobile running around Fucking quarterbacks. Josh Allen. He he can he <laughs> is line. he is mobile, but he's still he's still he's a pocket no, passer that, too. I'm, but that's that's the game. Like Justin exactly. Herbert right now. Exactly. Josh yeah. Allen. And who I well you, love. Don't, you don't you don't you don't have the statues back in the pocket anymore. Right. 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 There's no more of the Peyton Mannings where you run a 17 right. yard 40. Yeah. Or a 17 second 40. But you're all over. That's that's the two right there that I would. And name. That's the mold you want. Is right Allen now. and and, and, Her- and that, Herbert. Exactly. Honestly, that's why I think Trey Lance is going to be the best of the quarterbacks. And he and he may that came out last and year. He may. And we looked at him. Is because he can stand in the pocket and he can move. Sure, sure. But the biggest thing is, can he hit his target? We'll see. I mean, there's a bigger. I mean, I get you have Garoppolo, but I mean, Garoppolo's they, they would, not staying it, there. It, if he was such a standout player, they probably would have started him already. I mean, they did start him when Garoppolo was hurt, but then they pulled him as soon as Garoppolo got well, back. Well, they were talking about I mean, today. Um, Garoppolo is having shoulder surgery. Yeah, and they were saying it's not going to affect his trade status. He's probably going to get traded, and I know Pittsburgh's interested. Mm. I did read that. That's how I feel about Garoppolo. Don't do um, it. I've, I've heard that. They're interested in him. Um, well, we're interested in everybody right now. Yeah. Well, uh, so are we. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you can't go in the season with Rudolph as your starting quarterback. Well, he, I mean, well, yeah, when, especially yeah. when they play with helmets. Yeah. yeah. I just, <laughs> no, you can't. I'm, I'm saying he's still concussed from that uh, that hit from Miles yeah. Garrett. <laughs> but, no, I mean, Justin, that was a good – you know, segue into him because he's not thinking with his with his heart. You know, we're all we all do that, right? Um, but getting an outside perspective on the on the Panthers, um, I, I just feel like we're kind of stuck with Darnold. Um, I mean, we that yeah, we are. I mean, what do we do? Like, if you played well at the end of last year and yeah. you know 
kind of showed some flashes yeah. that maybe we could have traded him, got a trade bait, but nothing. I mean, he just played like ass the whole time. So, I mean, there's, there's been some scutter talk about Cam coming back. Yeah, I, I'm, personally, I'm kind of over the Cam thing. I, yeah. I'm with you, and and look, let's make sure we say this out loud. That's no shade at Cam. And Mark, you've already talked about it. you're not a Panther fan, you're not a big Cam Newton fan, but he did a lot for our franchise. Oh, he, he does wonders sure. for the city of Charlotte. But wonders. Personally, they didn't he came back, the excitement was great, but how many games did we win? And what all camp. He doesn't do wonders for the game of football. And he does wonders for the city of Charlotte. And that wasn't all camp. Well, in his prime he did. Oh, yeah. for sure. In his prime, yeah, but he's sure. way he's way past his prime. But the, point the game is, has changed. Exactly. But the point is I I think personally I'm in in my opinion, I think Cam should retire. Yeah. That that's just me. And that's not. I'm not throwing shade. I just he has nothing else to prove, in my opinion. I think if he wants to keep playing, I think he's gonna. He's better off being a backup somewhere. Well, and if, he wants if, to be if, a starter if he can accept that. Yeah. So, but there's been talk about them. The ship hasn't sailed on bringing him back. Well, he came out and said he'd only play for yeah, a playoff. Contender. Yeah, a playoff yeah. contender. But what playoff contender is really looking like? Oh, we're one Cam Newton hey, away. Beggars from can't the, be choosy. What, yeah, what I'm saying, <laughs> like the people, the. The teams on the precipice or on the cusps of right, of doing right. something, they're not like saying we're one Cam Newton away. No, no, no. At this not. day and age, they're not. They're of, not. of doing something, they're he's, not. He needs to go to Buffalo. Respectively, he's one of the only, not only, but one of the top people I could see succeeding outside of the football world too. Yeah. With other stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Entrepreneurship Absolutely. and stuff like that. I mean, he's got a hundred businesses. Like, yeah. Well, that's what I mean. I mean, he to me he has nothing else to prove. Right. That's just me for sure. Um, so I have a question for Mark about the Steelers. Sure. What di- what direction do you think they're going? What yep. do I think they're going to do? Yeah. Um, I think they're going to make a terrible decision and trade. And trade. go grab somebody. Trade for a quarterback? I think they're going to go grab somebody. Like I said, I think we're leaning towards – I heard we're leaning towards Mitch. I heard Jimmy G. I did hear Mitch. Um, mm-hmm. Other things like that. What I want – I mean, I want to draft. I want to draft one of these guys. I think Mason will start no matter what. And I think we're just going to eat it this year, which sucks because it's going to ruin Najee's career. And mm-hmm. It's going to ruin a lot of people's yeah, talents that. or whatnot. I get, that. I get that. But we just have to rebuild. How do you come off of Ben? You can't just say, all right, let's go grab Aaron Rodgers. Or yeah. It's like, we got to rebuild. We got to redo the entire thing. We so, can't just be the next contender. Yeah, we are yeah. we always make the playoffs, but we can't just live that way forever. So the silver lining for your, your guys' sake is you have a lot of cap space too. Yeah. So you can take a flyer on somebody or try to take a trade and – you have the, the 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 flexibility in your cap space to kind of do something, as you know, opposed to the Panthers, we can't. Um, I mean, there's rumors of y'all pulling for Rodgers and and stuff like that. Obviously, rumors. But in a in your dream scenario, what, what do the Steelers do? Dream scenario is Aaron Rodgers, Aaron but Rodgers. we are a team that drafts and you retire Steelers. Like, yeah, we have so many people that do that. And, and Pittsburgh I think we don't keep... they don't pay people. Yeah. They just don't. Um, that's why they keep winning. But you saw what Juju did. I mean, he comes back sure. f- to play mm-hmm. with Ben for one time. We have a lot of loyalty, and I think that yeah. we just we need a draft, and I think we need to go find the next. Because Mason Rudolph was not it. I think we no. need to trade Mason Rudolph. I would rather have Duck Hodges back than Mason Rudolph right now. <laughs> right. So I'm going to throw a quarterback or name. Josh Dobbs. I'm going to throw a quarterback quarterback names at you. Okay. I'm going to tell you yes or no. Yes You're going to tell me yes or no. Yes or no. Okay. Carson Wentz. Yeah, I'll take a chance on him. Okay. Gardner Minshew. No. No? Love Gardner Mitchell. You love the cutoffs, the cutoffs and the, the mustache. No, I'm not sold on them. Okay. Um, Baker Mayfield. Absolutely not, not. Not saying they would do it. Absolutely not. Kirk Cousins. Yeah. Yeah, I might do that one. Okay. Derek Carr. I like Derek Carr. I remember when he started with Oakland. That Las Vegas. But uh, And I was sold on him. Now I'm not. I think he's got a great arm, but I just don't think that he's, he's in other winning games. Okay. Jameis Winston. Absolutely not. Cam Newton. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right. That was it. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Trubisky. Ryan, well, I think, yeah, Matt, right, yeah. Get a veteran, think, veteran guy in there. I think three years ago I said yes. Trubisky. Because I've heard what you heard, that there's – I will and, take – And and y'all be surprised. Trubisky's getting a lot of talk during the con- the combat start, and, and there's been a I lot of talk about him. I didn't hate Mitch in Chicago. Yeah. Um, I would take Mitch over Sam Howell, though. Okay. Okay. I think I really? think Mitch. Fair and, enough. I think Mitch in Pittsburgh would that would flourish. probably work. Yeah, no. probably work. He didn't, and he he's still kind of new, so I mean, he mm-hmm. had a shit team in Chicago. He let's did. be honest. He did. Well, Chicago, I mean, take I mean, that, Landon. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're all Tar Heel fans, so of course we want to see Mitch do well. 
Yeah, we do. I don't want to see Sam do well too. Yeah, absolutely. But absolutely, I'm not sold. Yet. And, and I don't know how you two guys feel about this. Um, I like Sam Howe. Mm-hmm. The worst thing for his career would be to come here. Oh yeah, he does not need to be here. Yep. And I don't. That's not. I'm not saying anything bad. He needs to go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't want any of them. Um, but I'm just saying, if you could get him late or whatever. But Pittsburgh you know. is in love with Malik Willis. I saw that. Mm-hmm. And them and the red and I almost said it. Go ahead and say it. I almost said it. Say it. The Commanders. Fucking commies. I know they. I know they love him too. The fuck you, Willis. Say? So, I, I'm. I, I don't know how I feel about Willis. I. I just feel like if if Pittsburgh was to draft a quarterback, they're in a good spot. You just drafted a, a future tight end. Sure. You just drafted your future running back. Yep. You've got young receivers all the way. Pittsburgh around. doesn't have a ton of holes. Like you got to you got to fix the offensive line a little bit for sure. Beef right. it up a little bit. Right. But I mean, put a young quarterback in that in that offense, and your defense is pretty good. Now, if Malik Malik Willis was coming out like three years ago, yeah, and y'all drafted him like in the second or third round, and let him sit behind Ben for three, you know, that's two or three right. years, probably I do. That would have been the perfect. Well, thing that's probably I do because the dude has all the. Athletic traits in the world just right. needs to fine tune stuff. I just thought of something. I'll ask him, since you are the Pittsburgh guy. We have made this very clear on this program. What's your thoughts on Tomlin? Mike Tomlin is one of the greatest coaches ever. Thank you. We love Tomlin. Oh God, how do you know? And hey. I actually have Pittsburgh fan friends who do not do not like the guy. I, I think and he's we fantastic. would take him in a heartbeat. Well, like what defines him like this past year where they that he started losing. We we went on a run and then right, we started right. losing really bad and they were like, What do you think about going to coach college? And he I was mean, like I love USC. They were wanting him real hard. And he's like, Are you kidding me? And then yeah. like, everybody on ESPN jumped on it. It's like yep. do not jump on this guy. I remember that. He's a Hall of Famer. Dude, no, he I, has to be. I, like, I tell you right down. now, I take him in a heartbeat. No. So good. I'm glad to hear that because I he's think he's a classy he, guy too. Yeah, I, I just like his attitude, man. Like when he he corrected Clay, um, play, or Car, or Claypool or whatever about the music when he was talking about you should be playing Sat music. Him. Yeah, he told him he said his job's to catch balls, my job's to coach. Sat him, and then when uh, AB yep. recorded the uh, locker room after that a couple of years ago, yeah, yeah. sat him. See, I I, I, I respect that. Yep. See, that's what I respect about Ron. Ron. Exactly. That's what and, I just and say. I agree with you. Discipline. I agree with you. No bullshit. Yeah, I agree. We're here to you. play football. So, quit, quit fucking around. This is your job, not a so, fucking playground. It is what it is. So, anything else, Panthers, guys? No, I've got NFL. I got something with go, NFL. Go for it. You know, you see, I see the Colts propose a new overtime rules. I did see that. So, sure, both teams get um, a chance at the ball. It's got to gotta change. It has to. I think that I have a screenshot. It says they they put it out there, and twenty four of the thirty two league owners would have to approve of it. I think it'll get done. I think it's a no-brainer. I wonder if the Buffalo Bills will approve it. Oh, I wonder if the Kansas City Chiefs will. <laughs> hey, I bet <laughs> that's the bigger hey, question. Buffalo will be all over. Because you know, if, if Buffalo gets the ball, it's 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 going to be that Bill, game was completely yeah, Bills Bengals yeah. and the AFC Championship. Well, well, one quarterback that won't be going anywhere is Kyler Murray because he says that he wants to stay with the Cardinals. Yeah, yeah. He's been raising a little bit of cane. But so he man. wants to be paid like everybody else, yeah. which is I saw, what's going to get I saw, in trouble. I saw two hundred and seventy-five million. Jesus. For six years. The fuck? And I know, Steven, me and you have went back and forth about him as a fantasy quarterback. He, he puts up numbers, but you're right. It seems as the end of the season, I don't know what happens. I mean, he's like he's like Russell Wilson. Yeah. Same thing. Beginning of the year, balls out. Yep. End of the year when you need some wins, doesn't do much. Yep. I People, you know, Kyle Murray deleting all the Cardinals off his social media and stuff like that. You know, people are like, oh, you know, we could take a trade for, you know, Kyle Murray, which we, we don't have a the capital to do that. Right. I don't know if I'd want Kyler Murray, honestly. I, I'll as be my, honest. As my quarterback. I'll be honest with you, man. I, I don't know if I'd want him either. I mean. Truth be told. If we get him for a steal, maybe. Yeah. But, but you're not going to do that. I mean, would you, what would you say him coming to the Pittsburgh? Would you Would you want him? No. With that, I saw something that was like, with that win, he'll sling it up and it's an interception. Yeah. yeah. What about. Uh, He's got to have better control over his you ball. You brought it up. What about Russ in Pittsburgh? I like Russ. He plays in weird conditions or whatnot. Yeah. I don't think he's done. I think he's done with Seattle. Yeah, mm. I, I agree with you. I think he's got a lot more talent to give. They, these guys will tell you I'm not a Russ fan. Mm. But if he ended up here, guys, jersey, I might have to <laughs> let that go. Yeah. <laughs> well, the last time I did that I was fucking Darnold. Yeah, like, I looked like a genius for three weeks. We were talking about a couple <laughs> weeks ago. And we talked about jersey sales. Yeah, and we were like, 
Well, we know one Darnold got that got bought. All right, listen, there was a there was a deal with Harris Terry. He got fifty dollars <laughs> off. And you that, did, man. And I fucking used it for that. All right? But look, me and Steven owned it, man. He was our guy, was he not? He looked yeah. like your guy. Yeah, he, he was. He was our guy. Weeks. Yeah, we but, were like, man, bring this guy here. When we played high school teams at the beginning of the year, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Then he, hit, he actually hit professional. I would say man. swing and a miss. <laughs> Strike so, 75. Oh, so wow. cool. Uh, the only NFL news other that, that I talked about that I saw this week I thought was pretty cool. They said that the uh, Bucks are bringing back the, the, the cream, cream, sickles. cream sickles. Yep. They're going to bring them back for a, a couple of games. You know, because the NFL relaxed the the two helmets. You, have, you have two helmets now. So yeah. they're going to bring the cream sickles. You know, back. You're just a Bucks yeah. fan. No, I'm not a Bucks fan. Horse them, but flags. you got to admit that, those uniforms are kind of cool. You got to admit they're cool. <laughs> those uniforms are kind of cool. Yeah, just just to give you kind of a backstory on this, um, that was the last Panthers that was game. So funny, man. Him and his wife well, we were, to the we, watch well, party. Well, we weren't pulling. Remember, we don't pull against the Panthers. Okay, well, let me tell. But let me tell. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Story. But for playoff purposes, what did we say? Yeah, we get it. That, that's all it was. That was the joke, Mark. So he shows up. Mr. Mr. You know, Mr. Panther. Over damn here, right. Walks in. He's got his white little hoodie on, little zip up jacket. Walks in, just casually takes his fucking jacket off. He's wearing a fucking buck shirt. <laughs> you know what it says? Raising flags. <laughs> <laughs> it's this fucking guy. You know, that's why he's still off my lawn. And you've seen Cata. Uh, you've seen uh, Mad Cata. He's a super fan for the Panthers. Yeah. Friend of the show. He yeah. was there. And I, that's the first time I've seen that guy look like he was he was literally gonna cry. It looked like he like like lost I, his like, best I, like, I, like I did him wrong, man. yeah, man. He was like Dougie Fresh. I gotta talk to you, man. I was like, it was a joke. <laughs> but you will so, never live it down. No, never, right? never. <laughs> and then he tried to dog me, right? So then he admits on the air that he's pull. You know, he's having to help Sarah with the Patriots, and he put a jersey on. I was like, oh. So I get dog, but you're wearing a Patriots jersey. Yeah, but that was uh, that was helping my girlfriend uh, out. That's separate conference. I was. Uh, I don't want to hear that. I was supporting my girlfriend. Who are you it. supporting? I was the just, Buccaneers. I wouldn't. I wasn't supporting anybody. That's a mess rival. With the That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we changed the subject after that. Fire them cannons! Fire them cannons! <laughs> so no, that's it. All right, one more thing, Panthers. What you got? There's rumors that we are set on taking an offensive lineman with the number six. Pick. Yeah, and it said even if it's a reach. Yes, yeah. I, I saw that quote. So I'm, that why why do you why do we tell our fucking plans to everybody? Yeah, why do we do yeah. that? It's like it's like fucking rule coming out what week six. Hey, guess what, guys? We're gonna run the ball more. We're running the ball. Yeah. So how do what do they do? Stack the box so they stop the fucking run and then yeah. we quit running. Yeah, because we couldn't run because, because they stacked why? the damn box because they stacked the damn box. So you know what's gonna happen now. Some dude's going to trade up to number five and take the best damn offensive lineman. Probably. Yeah, here comes... Uh, I, I here. still want your center. Lender by me. You need to trade back for him. Trade back. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's who I want. Picks. Get picks. Just get picks. So, <laughs> any, anything else? <laughs> anything Steelers you want to talk about? Anything else? You good? Good Steelers? Good. You don't want to shout TJ Watt? Defense player of the year? Yeah. yeah. Two years in a row? Yeah, what it is. Okay. So good shit. Good shit. I'm not saying it. Because yeah, he won quiet. that last year. He deserved he, it. He, yeah, he did. Yeah, no, he, he deserved did. it. He deserved it. Fuck off, that oh, guy. Fucker. But his brother gave him the award this year. It was very special. Oh, that was beautiful. Don't. Go ahead. I'm not saying it, man. I told you I'm not going to say it. I'm respecting our guest. Hey, just just a heads up. Uh, what was it? What was our goalie last year for the Canes? The one that got traded to the Red Wings? Um, Ned. I, Ned. Yeah, he's uh, he's he's, he's, in, the, he's, in a, he's in a goalie this year. Yeah, Red Wings. Oh, okay. This, by the way. Okay. You know what? FYT to him. Yeah, FYT. <laughs> so, all right, so we're going to the place. And our guest this week has decided that he was going to provide the Crack Zone beer this week. So, Mark, welcome to the Crack Zone in person. It's Zen. We're gonna, Do you see the angels? We're going to turn it over to you to introduce the beer. Do you hear the birds? So here we go. I see stars. <laughs> so I've brought from Pilot Brewery. Alley Oop IPA. Cool label. Oh, it's badass. Oops, my bad. Jesus. In honor of Hey Duke Week. Oh, yeah, don't, basketball don't, don't pop it. Don't pop Sorry. it. Don't pop like, it. Don't what, pop it. What's the uh, 6.2? 6.2. Southeastern mm-hmm. IPA. All right. Everybody ready? And for every uh, four-pack, $2 are donated to a- Athletes and Academics uh, Foundation, which uh, helps free tutoring and basketball training. Very cool. Nice. Oh, That's very cool. All right, so three, two, one. Crack zone. Ooh, that was a little frothy. 
Ooh. Oh, s- smell. S- smell taste. Mm. Not too strong. All right, so. All right, members, the second one. Cleanse the palate. <laughs> Cleanse the palate. I'm doing it like the wine. Don't forget tech guy. Fuck him. <laughs> All right. Okay. You got your calculator ready? Got to get one. All right. So, that silent does. manager is busy, not here at the moment. So, we'll let uh, get our guest here will fill in for that, that rating. So, we're going to go to tech guy first? Yeah, yeah, do tech guy first. Okay. That that would be a two, two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. And our scale again for all you listening is five would be the highest. Yep. You want to tell them the lowest? Zero. <laughs> Do we go negative? <laughs> yeah, we can go negatives. <laughs> well, there's a couple we probably would have, but we don't want to do that. All right. Um, I'm going to go... I'm gonna go a three. It's not. It's not terrible. I could probably do one and be like, okay, I'm good. Me, you, go ahead. I agree with him. Three. That's where I was at. I even was gonna go like a three and a quarter, but I know how that makes you. You get all messed up when I go quarters. It fucks up my iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> so so, so I'm just gonna go three. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go three too. I could drink a couple of these. Yeah, I could too. It's not too bad. I can't do decimals with you? No. You can do point five. You can do point five. I did 375 one okay. time, and I thought he was going to lose it. Well, so, I mean, I've had a lot of IPAs. This is, I'm already halfway done. This is very, <laughs> it's very drinkable. For 6.2, it's very crushable. I agree. So, and honestly, what did you guys say 704 was? It was like 5% mm-hmm. or yeah. something in that way. I think 704 is stronger than this. Yeah. So, I'm going to go, I was I was at a 3.8, so I'm going to round up and go to 4. 4, okay. Cool. Please. That's cool. I agree with what you said. This is definitely drinkable. I could drink two, two or three of these. So the yeah. average out of all of this, 3.1. That's pretty good. That's pretty solid beer. Yeah. That's pretty solid. For us, it's 3.1? Mm. Yep. For, uh, yeah. On untapped, it's uh, 3.7. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, because we had, what, two and a half, right? Yeah, but he doesn't drink three beer. So plus right, that's true. Three Can't plus. Really. You, you did three, two, right? That's what I wanted to do, but I didn't want to throw you off. Three. 3.25. Right. <laughs> you know, that's three and a quarter, babe. <laughs> yep, five of us. And, and it gives back to our community. It's from Charlotte. Which is great. Yeah, Stephen, did you find it on the map? Is it on there? Yeah, look at this symbol right here. We were trying to look oh, for yeah. it. Yeah, I thought it's it was in. there. See, I thought it was there. All right. Cool. So, And that's, we were trying to get all that. So good job, Mark. So huh. that's And to a worthy cause. Yeah. Sweet. And again... Are always our disclaimer. Do the disclaimer. Not, we are not our the beer gods. Our palates aren't perfect. Nope. Uh, so please go out and try any brews by Pilot Brewing. Um, we just want to get your name out there, and yep. maybe people have. I, I've never heard of Pilot Brewing before. Yeah, I, I, I'd seen it on there. That's why we were looking for it today. I was like, I know it's on there. So, so maybe us shouting you out. Yep. You know, people like, oh, let's try this out. But man, support brew. support local, man. That's yep. what that's what we're trying to push here. Um, so, Mark, good job, man. Good one. Yep. Um, hey, the last couple of crack zones, we've had some good ones, man. Yep. So let's keep it up. But again, you know, we're different. So hey, give us suggestions as we said in the comments. Let us let us know. Give us something to try. So uh, good job, Mark. Um, very good crack zone. Yeah. Hell yeah. So all right, question. Crack zone. All right. So besides. UNC versus Duke, which I, for me, I would say is probably the best rivalry in sports. What is your favorite sports rivalry or the one that you kind of maybe you just want to see when they play together? I, I echo what Steven said. I feel Duke Carolina basketball is the greatest rivalry in sports. Uh, absolutely. Me, hands down. Yep. yep. And that's no shade to any other rivalry. But I just, it's it's just big it everywhere. Is, it is the, the, it's just crazy. Yep. So I agree with that. So besides those two teams, what would be another rivalry that you just you just want to watch? Two off the top of my head: okay. Yankees and Red Sox. Yep. 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 Michigan and Ohio State. Yep. yep. Two good ones. Yep. 
No, oh, Justin. Justin, you got one. Uh, yeah. Um. I just want to, the Yankees and Red Sox thing kind of fell off. It did. I wish it would get back to what it was. Yeah, back in what, the early 2000s? But the hatred's there, man. I feel like if you went to one of those games, you would feel it. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yes. Especially in the fans, yeah. Go over the Green Monster. I felt like I could feel it through the TV when David Ortiz and Jeter were going at it. Yeah. Um... But, 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 Justin, going back, like my dad was a big Yankees fan. So, growing up, I was part of that. So I, I would I understand what you're saying, right. but I agree with what Mark said. If you're in that rivalry, like we're in the Duke Carolina rivalry, you never think it dies. Oh yeah. On the outside looking in, you might, but that's a huge rivalry. I mean, they hate each other. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine walking through like New York City with the oh my Red god, Sox oh my god, or or vice versa, oh, walking yeah. through or, or Boston, either, yeah, or either <laughs> walking through Boston with a Yankees cap on. Right. Oh, I'm not saying it's gone. No, I'm I just know. saying like the the. But, but the we need tension, some, the we need tension, some hot maybe. They, they both need to be good. Well, the teams, like right. yeah, like right. Boston's not like, great like anymore. Pennant, like, like pennant race. Yeah, yeah. yeah back, back in the heyday, they both were contending for the pennant. Right now, it's not so much anymore. Right, yeah. right. Um, I I feel like Boston and L.A. were um, a big rivalry. Basketball, rivalry. Rivalry. yeah, basketball. Now, I can yeah. tell you back. Back during you know Bird and Magic, Bird and Magic, it was huge. Mm. I mean, it was huge. Well, yeah, even when um like Rondo and all them were yep. there, it like, was huge. It was big, and that's a good one. That, that's a good one too. You know, even when Rondo was there too, it was it was Boston and Cleveland too it was a big one yeah. when LeBron was playing for him. Mm-hmm. That was a pretty big rivalry. Yeah, some of I mean, it's a hard word to say. Rivalry, 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 rivalry. 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 Well, some it's, it's like some of your normals, like you know, me, me, you guys might not see this, but being a Cardinals fan, Cardinals Cubs mm-hmm. is a huge rivalry. Mm-hmm. Um, Notre Dame USC in football is a huge rivalry. It doesn't seem like it because we're not part of that, and they're you know, especially West, West Coast. Yeah, but that is a historically that is a huge rivalry. That's like Texas Oklahoma. Yep, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, maybe, I mean, and there's going to be some we're going to miss. We're oh, not, we're not yeah. trying to yeah. throw shade at anybody. Florida, Georgia, in football. You know, mm-hmm. I went. I went to the the cocktail part of this. We, it, it is a big one. Atlanta versus Bryce Harper. <laughs> yeah, Justin go. versus Bryce Harper. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's him. a good one. I mean, it, that was pretty. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> so. I always Doug, lo- Doug versus LeBron. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> pay-per-view. That's a hatred right there. Yeah, pay-per-view there. I respect the guy. Um, and not just because you're here, Mark, but uh, Pittsburgh-Baltimore. That's a good one. It's well, intense. it's something I used to always watch, especially, yeah. you know, when Ray Lewis. It was and, intense, man. And Ed Reed and Troy Palmalu and James Harrison were all playing. Well, because both defenses were, were so, so good. Yeah. I mean, it was just they were knocking each other's teeth out, and they didn't care. Mark, how old are you? 27. How, how old are you? <laughs> you're, 84. You're more closer to my age, right? 27. No, he's younger than us. Yeah. Dallas, Washington. Oh, football. huge. Yeah. I mean, he used to play every Thanksgiving. I mean, huge. It was. It was See, huge. Mark remembers back in 85, you know, he was cooking yeah. the turkey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> but no, I mean, there's some that we forget about, but the, those are huge, man. Well, um, I'm not. Like, I, I'm not an Ohio State fan at all, but I know Michigan-Ohio State is huge. Oh, yeah. That is a huge rivalry. Especially this um, past year when they both were good. I felt yep. like the, the rivalry was renewed. It was yep. the first time Michigan's beat them in 10 years. Yep. Yeah, because I remember back I, – I remember watching one. It was I think it was in middle school or high school, and there, one was one and one was two. Yep. Ohio State was one and Michigan was two or vice versa, and it was crazy watching that. Well, you Zach, know that friend of the show. Yeah. I mean, he – he yep. burns a, yep. a Michigan shirt on yeah. those games there you go. Mm-hmm. every year. And here's one that we've Pisses on it. maybe overlooked, <laughs> which is huge. Alabama-Auburn. Mm. Very big. That is mm. huge. Iron Bowl. Um, that state, you're either Alabama yep. or you're, you're Auburn. I mean, mm. that's the way it is. So. Explode right down the middle. Um, so, yeah, that, I mean, and you respect those rivalries. Like, like we talked about going into the Duke-Carolina thing, I don't expect a Duke fan t- to, to support Carolina. Matter of fact, I respect you if you don't. Yeah, well, you, you should hate them as bad as I hate Duke. I respect that hatred. I, I do. Yeah, I, I've just seen some on both sides, Duke Carolina, who have said, "Well, if if Carolina gets knocked out of the NCAA tournament, I'll pull for Duke." No. So you know what I always it say? It doesn't happen. You know what I say? I would never do that. Every every time the Carolina plays, I pull, I pull for two teams. I, you know who mine are? I pull for the Tar Heels and whoever's playing Duke. Anybody but Duke. Whoever is playing Duke, that's who I pull for. I agree with you. But it's like a lot of times, like if Virginia's moving on, I'll be like, oh, pull for him for the ACC. 
And I'll do that for a lot of teams. And that's always been the argument. Except. I'll, except for Duke. Yeah. And, and Mark, you're all over it because that's how I am. I mean, believe it or not, I'll actually, in 83, when State won the national championship in basketball. You were right co- you're, you're graduating college. Right now. after yep. Carolina. Yep. <laughs> I actually pulled for State to beat Houston, and they were huge underdogs. Um, you know, I did. But if that had been – no. Every time Duke that, well, that was Jimmy V, right? Was that Jimmy V? Yeah. Yeah. So every time Dukes played, I've always been whoever. When you know when UNLV kicked their ass, when UConn kicked their ass a couple of times, I was all in, man. I, I, I was if the Bulldogs played Duke, you know Bulldogs, everybody's a Bulldog, yeah, or right? Wildcat, <laughs> or Wildcat. I never pull for Duke ever, ever. I don't even think I've pulled for Duke if it helps Carolina if they win or lose. I don't think I can. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I can't do it. You can't watch it and go, good shot. I can't do it. 13. You can't Justin, do it? Justin, do it before I bust. 13. Y'all keep going. Fuck. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Get in a circle. <laughs> Fuck. Damn, Doug. <laughs> I don't know. I, I hate him, man. You respect my lungs better than I do because, like, <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. No, I just smoke. I hate them, man. I can't stand. I mean, but I will give them credit when credits do. So, but we'll get there. We're not there yet. We'll get nope. there. Oh, so we're now, not, we're not there. now you know how I feel about Ryan Blaney. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I respect nice. that hatred. So, all right, cool. Get off my lawn. We even got it on my screen. Uh, there it is. Um, I had one, but we already talked about it was Ian Thomas. I, th- I think that's pretty you, actually, well. Well, mine was that one, but it it wasn't so much him. It was the situation, so it was the same. Can I piggyback off your get off my lawn a couple weeks? Yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About the cart. Oh man, I'm still, not returning to the corral. I'm so oh, I'm yeah. still pissed about that. So I saw I, one yesterday. I stopped at this local, you know, grocery store. Mark, you did tier. pick up on that. Right? Yep. Oh yeah. So this local grocery store, Harris Tier, Cart Narks. I uh, yeah, cart. Do you Le- watch Cart Narks? Oh yeah. Okay, sweet. Lazy month. So I, I'm pulling in. We're stopping to get some food, Justin, you know, get some food, get some more beer. So we're pulling in. Perfect spot. It's a beautiful spot. Right. Like right by the front. Sweet. Awesome. Went to go pull in. Fucking cart was sitting right there. Did you have to get out and move it? Fuck no, I didn't. I fucking parked somewhere else. Uh, that that just. And that's what most people would do, I think, is they wouldn't get out. They would just go to another spot. Right. And that, But it was a per- prime spot. And this is like 4.30 in the afternoon, so it's, it's, it's pushing prime time. Dude. You know what I mean? So y'all feel my y'all feel my frustration. That that was a good one, right? If when I brought that up, that was if a good anybody one. feels your your frustration, I, I, I just it's the three of us. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. it drives me crazy, man. We see it every day, and I've already told y'all the ones who try to get them up on the curb. Yeah, they and they try- don't quite get it there, and then that comes off the curb and hits your car. You, you know what pisses me off even you, more, Mark? You know what I'm talking about, right? Oh yeah. You know what pisses me off even more when they push it to the corral. But they don't put it inside the corral. They, they? they lean it up against yeah, the corral. I've seen that You can too. literally walk three more fucking feet and put it no, no, in no. the guy. Or just push it. But you yeah. know that yeah. But you know that that SOB, he did it on purpose. Just so he'd piss you yeah. off. You know that, right? It's just like last night. I went to go feed, feed Kitty. And there's <laughs> shit right <laughs> next to the litter box. Not in the litter box. So the cat that did was, it on purpose. That's on purpose, bro. Like, if you shit, like, somewhere yeah, in the kitchen, yeah. okay, maybe you had an accident. Maybe. <laughs> you shit right next to the litter box, that's intentional, and we have problems. Were, were you late with oh, his breakfast? Well, hold on. Maybe. Or he was we, like, this motherfucker, he getting it. I'll show him. Maybe. I'm just a cat. No, I don't, actually, know, I don't know any better. Sarah had to, <laughs> Sarah had to feed him because I had to work early. Oh. So Sarah fucking did it. Yeah. He's Way to go, Sarah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This motherfucker. So I'm going to show these motherfuckers <laughs> be late with my breakfast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I walked in there to do something. And I see the. I was like, "We motherfucker!" <laughs> All right, whatever. God, I love it, man. That's that's my get off my lawn. Fucking mine kitty. was tied into what you said about Ian Thomas. Mine was fucking the kitty. fact that they actually knew what the hell was going on and they still signed him. Right. That was my get off the lawn. Yeah, that uh, like make better decisions. Care. And I don't want. I've seen people defending the. Oh, it's only a misdemeanor. Blah blah. It's five misdemeanors. Don't don't act like it. It doesn't matter. You you freaking running from the cops. You you have a suspended license. What the hell are you doing, dude? Right. So I I'm sorry. I'm, I, we've already talked about it. I'm a hush. It's just bullshit. I'm well, sorry. Well, you know, I wasn't gonna tell the story, but I'm gonna tell the story. Do it. So when I was in high school, Uh-oh. you guys know who Greg Biffle is, right? Yep. So I had a couple kids in my in my year that stole his four wheelers. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. And, nice. And then... Was how, one of them named Steven? No. It was not me, I promise. We don't but, self-incriminate uh, around uh, here. Steven, <laughs> Steven, how do you spell it? <laughs> PH. So, the, how they got caught was they took the four-wheelers to our high school and they yep. caught him on camera nice awesome. so they ran from the cops from there so i'll just bring that up yeah it is what it is yeah i remember that that's a good on my lawn good did job get, guys did they get charged i don't remember yeah no it is what it is pretty badass story though. so are you off probation now um, I, got, I, I, I got one more year <laughs> okay <laughs> nice disclaimer i did not steal greg biffle's four wheelers in high school i swear <laughs> to god <laughs> and he did race in the 500 this year yeah well all maybe, right, maybe he, he would have done better if he had his four wheelers. <laughs> any get on my lawns this week? Does anybody have any get off, get on my lawns? I, I got to really, get off. Go, man. Mine? I love this. He don't do many of them, Mark. No, this is a good one. So it's got to be built. This is right, built let, up over let, episodes. Let me put you on a situation. Okay? okay. All right. You grab your bowling ball, right? Right. It's a good one. It's a good one. Here stick we it go. in your car. I, I know where he's going. And you're you're driving, you're listening to your jams, yep. you're like, motherfucker, I'm about to go bowl a damn perfect game, you right? You're feeling like Big Lebowski. You're driving, you pull in a parking lot, you walk in the door, you're like, tell me you ain't got league tonight. And the bitch looks at you and says, it's yeah, night. yeah, we fool. Yeah. We ain't got no lanes. Oh, man. I how, thought I knew where you were you going. You know how I feel about your bowling alley. Yeah. How the fuck you going, how, how you going to open a bowling alley right. and then close it down? Because you got all leagues. Yeah. So my idea, I'm mm-hmm. gonna open a bowling alley just for the just for the public. There's so no leagues. No leagues. No leagues. Is that gonna be just your like slogan? every other normal bowling alley? It's this, gonna be it's gonna be just in lanes, no leagues. Just in case <laughs> you don't like leagues. <laughs> bowling alley. I like nice. ju- just in lanes. Uh, I kinda like just, that. Just, just in, in lanes. lanes. Just, just in lanes. All right, we'll make it just in lanes. No effing leagues. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> no, that is annoying as fuck. Like, why do you have to have the whole bowling alley? Now, if you, you cut it in half, cool. Understand. Like, I get leagues play a lot of money. Well, I was going to say, you know what it's, mo- but you know what's, what's running it. Get it. Big money It's maker. all about money. But Jesus, have like 15 dedicated to like regular customers that's coming. Yeah, but I agree with that. If you're making that much money off of it, right. expand your bowling alley. And make a section of I agree. ten lanes. I think that's I, where I, it's just public. I, I think that's acceptable. Like, what? I don't, and it's not just one day a week. No, it's that's multiple. the that's the problem. Yeah. Like if we knew on on Mondays and and, and is league night. And I think that's cool. how they most of them are. Like yeah, yeah. yeah Tuesday but, night. Or but whatever. it feels like every time we go in there, sure. it's a fucking league night. Hey Justin, do you want to do you want to join a league? Yeah, I want to join a damn league. CSR team CSR. Yeah, if if that'll get me to bowl, then sure. Hey, sounds like a plan. And Justin can bowl too. Uh, I'm telling you, you I'm in. I'm like this. I can bowl like a, you know, like a 150, and then next game I'll bowl like a 70. Oh, see, ouch! I, I'm a consistent like. So I'm one of those. I'm a consistent like 115 guy. Steven's gotten way better though. So I'm consistent. And actually, guy. when I was young, like young, young, I used to bowl in the league. Don't don't hit me, Justin. Would you use rocks and like <laughs> trees for it? Yeah, yeah. We actually threw stones. <laughs> we threw stones and we hit freaking trees. <laughs> but I used to be in a league when I was a kid. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I like bowling. I think it's fun. So I agree with you. You're pumped up. You're ready to go. You got your cookout. All all I want to <laughs> do is bowl some damn strikes. That's so, all I want to do. I hear you, man. And they're like, no. Hey, what was that? What, what we got? That was a fucking spare. Okay, cool. Yeah, I knocked both of them down. Damn. All right, so that it? Yeah. You are not gonna, You don't want to mention the lungs. Mark, you have anything you want to bitch about? Or praise. Yeah, bring it, man. I'm keeping it sweet because we got some business to take care of. Yeah. But get on my lawn. Go. I just went to one. I'm not going to call which one out, but a grocery store with a bar in it. Most people, they, they're starting to become popular. There is nothing more refreshing than with your shopping cart. Going through the aisles with a nice beer in your hand. I went Damn. to the one down the Harris Teeter down here. It's not even just about drinking outside of your house. It's just about shopping. I can't um with a beer in your hand. I don't remember the. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know the the um, Harris Teeter the dress down here at Mount Holly Huntersville in sixteen three sixty six. Yeah, they have a bar in that one. Shout out Kevin Brooks. It's brand new. The yeah. newer ones. Yeah, yeah. we not. I went I, to a different thing. And I Harris actually, Teeter, but... you know, did that. That was cool. So yeah. I think it's like cool. they say, don't shop. 
when you're hungry or whatnot, but shop when you're drunk. That's better. Was well, there been any fights break out? <laughs> hey, man, you cut me off back in the aisle four. Hey, man, you took that last ba- <laughs> box of bacon so that you yeah, exactly. Exactly. Splash. <laughs> Give me that toilet paper. Or do you have, or do you have hit on guy? He's had a couple of drinks. Hey, baby. Hey, you, you, you look want, good in this frozen section. Hey, you, you want my pe- pork tenderloin? It's on sale. <laughs> Mark, I agree with you, though. That's pretty cool. That's good stuff. <laughs> so, that it? All right, real quick. We're good. All right, real quick. I got to ask you a quick question. Yeah. Bows and Fortnite, yes or no? No. Okay. I know. I know Fortnite. We're not going to get yeah, into went on, it. We I went on this last week. I know. This one. <laughs> Bows, they're gone. Thank God. Get rid of the spider webs. We're, we're cooking with grease. Cool. All, right. All right. Just real quick. Uh, uh, Mark's part of our uh, squad. Yeah. So, and right. we run shit. Wreck. Gotcha. Gotcha. Did y'all win some games today? I not, got one, not I, today, but I got one dub. They must have been some fucking streamers or something on there today because they were wrecking me, dude. <laughs> I had no. I mean, I was getting seven or eight kills, but just getting melted. Okay, wasn't even close. Mm-hmm. All right, that was it. Right. Fortnite bitch session over. Right. We we were we were having the the Fortnite. What was it? What bitch was, session. Is that was bitch session. Yeah, yeah. They were they were going off last week. So, all right, college basketball. Oh, we're going basketball. Yep, and we're gonna leave obviously the hills to last. We'll do that last. Um, so if you want to do Charlotte Niners real quick, um, coming off a uh, you know tough loss, of course. Um, but they do right now. They got like three games left. They're like fourth in the Conference USA. So all they can hope for to make the NCAA tournament is to win the Conference USA title. Really, the tournament. So we'll see how that goes. Right now, not looking too good. The women are doing well. Good, leading the league, the one seed. Actually projected to be an NCAA tournament team right now. I think, oh, shit. A, I think a 13 seed. It's pretty good. For, I, I can't even remember the last time Charlotte women made the NCAA tournament. So, good for them. Hell yeah. Um, Lady Hills, also I saw today they are projected to mm-hmm. be in the NCAA tournament. They actually, I think they were fourth in the ACC, I, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, nice. And they're 16th and then. And they and just then, moved up a little bit more in, yeah. in the polls. So, good for them. I know South Carolina is still leading the polls. They're awesome. Mm. Um, so that's pretty much Niner basketball right now. Um, so that's what I got for the Niners. I know you're a big Charlotte guy. Graduate. And we probably, alumni, and we probably talked about it probably the time we met when we yeah. were drunk. Yeah. Um, but Torn Dorn. Yep. I went to high school with him. I played baseball with him in high yeah. school. And I know his son was, was his, played, his, his brother yeah. played uh, football for the Tar Heels and his yep. dad played football for right. the Tar Heels. Exactly. Yep. And I think his son was actually recruited Charlotte recruited recruited him. Probably. Yep. So And Torn Doran went to Charlotte, was the yep. uh, freshman of the year, yep. went to wherever he wanted to, and he chose yep. State. Yep. Idiot. I don't know why. Oh, that, yeah, that was from State. That was a State. Yep. Should have gone to Carolina. So, yep. But, yeah, I'm a, uh, that's, that's why we always have the Niner Report, because um, I'm an alumnus. So, there it is. And w- the reason why we have App State and Davidson, because I didn't go to college, so fuck it. I can <laughs> just talk about what the fuck I want to talk about. But, Mark, I know mm. you listen to the show. Sure. Grew up a Tar Heel fan. Mm-hmm. I mean, raised. Mom threw me out of the house if I wasn't a Tar Heel fan. What's that? What's that chant? So I, I was born. To, what was it? Born a Tar. Yeah. I was born a Tar Heel, bred a Tar Heel. Yeah. When, when, when I, I die, die, I'll be a Tar Heel dead. dead. Yeah. So that was not it. But it was pretty fucking. I'm a Tar Heel born of a Tar Heel bred, and when I die, I'll be a Tar Heel dead. I catch a lot of shit from Charlotte fans, um, because it's funny because a lot of Charlotte fans don't like Carolina because of the UNC Charlotte thing. Um, but I was raised a Tar Heel fan. I will support the Niners. And the only time I've ever pulled against Carolina in anything was when they played in basketball a couple times. I did pull for Charlotte because it was a bigger win for them. Yeah. That was it. So all you Charlotte people who give me hell about that, you know, FYT you. <laughs> so. FYT isn't Charlotte their team. Yeah, it just pisses me <laughs> off. It just pisses me off. To say fuck you. <laughs> Don't say fuck your team. I mean, there's a lot of Charlotte fans who also are Duke fans. Oh, fuck them. But that's okay. Because it's not UNC Duke. Um, It's the UNC thing. UNCD? Yeah. So, All right, well. Get off UNCC's dick for a fucking second. <laughs> Go, man. <laughs> well, let's going, get, get on those inbred Mountaineers. We're going to the Mountaineers <laughs> of App State. Local Mountaineers. They're 18 and 13, 12 and 6 in the so Sunbelt Travis and second in the Sunbelt Travis. <laughs> Excuse me. Again, 12 and 6. God damn it, Doug. 12 and 6 in the Sun Belt, Travis, and second in the Sun Belt, Travis. Uh, Fuck off, Travis. They won 78 66 at Little Rock, lost 62 to 60 at Arkansas State, Arkansas. 
Uh, they're ne- they're actually in the Sun Belt Championship right now. There's no more games. App is the second seed. We'll play the winner of Coastal Carolina and Georgia Southern. Ashanta Clerks. And then now Davidson is twenty four and four, fourteen and two in the Lake Ten. Travis and first in the conference. Travis, um, seventy four. <laughs> they nice. won seventy four to fifty against Des- Descane. Duquesne. 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 Lee dropped twenty seven points. Uh, they did beat Fordham sixty six to forty five. Fordham. <laughs> and uh, next game is against George Mason on Wednesday. I did see some dark horse Final Four teams listed today. Is Davidson one? Davidson was listed. Dude, they're a good team. Yeah, they so, are a good team. They kicked Charlotte's ass. That's a badass so. hat, by the way. There you go. So they get bugging. Go, man. All right. Well, now I think we're to the coup de gras right here. Is this the discussion? Coup de right gras. Here. Okay. Well, I got my shirt on. I like it. Dude, you had on. I hope you do. Got my wristband on. I'm ready to go, man. So let's talk about this rivalry. Well, let's let's recap real quick, Justin. Go, go ahead yeah. and take a recap. Go. All right. So we played state. Yep. We had two games since the last podcast. We you played mean we, state. You mean we had a bye? Yeah, we had a bye. <laughs> we beat them 84 74. Bake Eye had a motherfucking game. And it wasn't that close. 28 points, 18 rebounds. Five blocks. Five blocks. I mean, he had a game. Uh, By the way, ACC Player of the Week again this week. Mm. Just so y'all know. Manic, Love, and Johnson all had 16 points. Mm. Um, Manic's been on a tear, too, yeah. man. He's been on a really big tear. Yep. I like him, dude. Good mm. pickup. He got a shot. Mm. Good pickup. Um, then we got the dub against Q's, uh, 88 79. Manic with 22. Uh, Love off the bench at 21. Mm. Yep. Was that senior night? Was it was. Yeah, senior, senior night. night. Yep. Okay, so he was out for two, three minutes. Okay. Yep. Uh, then Baycott with a big, another big game, 17 points, 18 rebounds. Yep. Um, so two big wins. We needed those. Yeah. Honestly. And um, it was looking a little tough last night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, because Syracuse was playing out of their minds, of course. Um, you know what happens when you see Carolina cross the chest. But they pulled it out in overtime. So, good win. Definitely. Mark, what you got? So, with Armando Baycott's last game, he ties UNC single record for double-doubles with yep. 23 time Bryce Johnson. Can't yeah, break correct. it Saturday. Correct. Um, kid from Syracuse. Where's he at? Sidler. Sidler. Um, One point. Cole Sw- uh, Sider. Swider. 36 points, uh, seven three pointers. That was the second most points scored uh, against UNC in the Dean Dome. One point off. 37, and he fouled out. And he fouled out, and he, looked, and he looked up like, ah, oh, He crap. was pissed. They said that he yep. he knew he did it. And it he was said, a reach. Dang, I reached. It was a reach. And, and, and he had a chance to break it, man. It senior night, Manic, McAdoo, and Leaky Black. Yep. Mm. Friend of the show, Concord Kid. Yeah. Actually, saw him in a PetSmart. Yeah. Um, <laughs> nice. but yeah, about Manic, man. I mean, like, he was, who was he with? Uh, Oklahoma? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. I mean, he he spent one year with here. You wouldn't even know it. He's a Tar Heel for forever. And I have to shout you out because before the season started, you sent I me that video that on Twitter. Kid. I saw yeah. a white boy yeah. like shoot threes, and he's not Playtech size. And he nails them. He's yeah. like good size. He I mean, play I have a Playtech. <laughs> he's not some skimpy white boy that can go shoot yeah. threes. I mean, he's a good guy, but he also get under the basket and dunk say, really he, well. He'll get in there bang, too. Yeah. So I mean, kicks should go far. Yep. He looked like Larry Bird when he sent him to me, like like looks wise, yeah. not like play wise. Hopefully he'll be but like you, a Larry Bird. But. but you know the last game in, in Chapel Hill against Duke, he was the one draining the three pointers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, he was draining. He's them. got a shot. Armando Baycott uh, so. is projected the ACC Player of the Year uh, that with Benchero, but like Hubert Davis came out and said, Armando Baycott, it's it should be a quick vote. Yeah, I agree with that. He's the only player that's got three ACC Player of the Weeks. He yeah. got his third one this week. Well, I so. think he's the first player since Tim Duncan to average. I think it was like over eleven rebounds yeah. in yeah. ACC play. I mean, I know we're talking with a you know with blue tint, but well, yeah. I agree. Well, Carolina blue tint. Well, the right, the right color. Okay, all right, yeah. All right. So um, but it is what it is. So. Yeah, and um, just kind of going back to what Justin said, you know, Puff Johnson, sixteen points with the career high. And season high minutes with Leaky Black going out, you it know, gave him a lift, man. Yeah, I mean, was Bryce Johnson's brother, right? Is it Bryce? Is it Bryce? Yeah, the crowd's electric with him. Yeah, right. I mean, they yeah. love oh, him they love coming him. in. Yeah. I think it's Bryce, Bryce Johnson's brother, or right. Something. But right. with that win against Syracuse, we secure a double bye in the ACC tournament, yeah. securing yep. a top four, which is big, huge. Um, I, I did see today bracketology. There was there was the tenth was the highest I saw. Um, so hopefully, I mean, maybe. 
we'll see what happens this week. But I personally, and which was goes back to the, we're not going to get into the you know the rivalry talk yet. But I remember back when if you finished third in the ACC, mm. there wasn't no bubble talk. Yeah, you you'd have you'd have a high a high seed. Yeah, the ACC was like that exactly because it was loaded. Mm. Now you got a team who's twenty one and eight, and you're a bubble 20, team. Tw- twenty two and eight. Twenty two and eight mm. bubble team. Come on, man. Well, you so, look at the teams that are in the top twenty five now. I, I think it's the landscape of college basketball yeah. that's changed. So that that was it. Well, I mean, you know what? We absorbed the Big East. You know, like the, these other conferences dissolved, and so. they did. They did. And, you know, we. I mean, I thought. I thought the ACC got, ACC got stronger after we absorbed yeah. some of these teams from the Big East, yeah, like we Louisville, did. Syracuse, you Notre Dame, and stuff like that. But I don't know. We'll see. I guess. Yep. What you got, Justin? Oh, I was just updating the ACC, but go. No, go, go ahead. Get it. Go ahead. Update. Do it, man. I'm on ESPN. Cool. Cool. No. No Bleach go, Report. Go back no. to Bleach Report. Bleach Report said 21 and eight. Well, which is what I said. Yeah. You. Yeah. Dumbass. Yeah. Um, Bleacher Report. So are, you, are you reporting for Bleacher Report? Duke sitting no, one. he is. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry. Duke sitting one, Notre Dame two, UNC, Miami, then Wake. Am I right? I think so. Yep, yep. yep that's right. And I did see where yes. <laughs> Carolina can be the two seed. If they beat Duke and Notre Dame loses both games, which is not going to happen. I think they're playing Pittsburgh in one. Yeah. And but they can't. There's no way they can get the number one seed. No. I did see that because of tiebreakers. So they could get the two seed. I, but It's you know. all about what we do in the tournament. That's yeah, right. As that's long right. as they say Carolina is right. solid in this tournament, as long as they don't lose to somebody stupid. Right. And, like, can, and can we just praise, you know, Hugh. Yeah, we give Hugh, for, Hugh credit, man. I mean, for his first season, I mean, he's done good. I mean, he's take he's taken some criticism this year. Um, but I mean, he's done decent though. But I think, you know, when the dust settles, I think he's you know to have a double bye, finish mm-hmm. third in the ACC, win twenty two games. I think I think it's a good season, yeah, man. It's not too Debut bad. season. Yep. So, what else? Going back to basketball, we had a career weekend. The number yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine team all lost. Never yeah, happened before. Never. Damn. Ever. Never happened. Yep. Ever. And we didn't update the the top five too. Do mm-hmm. it. So let me get back to where I was at. Unless you got it, Justin. You got it. Nope. You got so it. So the top five is Gonzaga. Ooh. Okay. T- go, oh, go Arizona. Go, go, Mark. Baylor. Uh, Duke. Uh, and Auburn. Uh, oh, God damn. What's the mascot for? You know, it's Gonzaga? pretty sexy when a guest comes on. That's and He's got his shit down. Yeah. Gonzaga. What's the mascot? What? What's the mascot? A fucking bulldog. <laughs> a fucking bulldog. By guy. the way, we think every college used to be bulldogs or wildcats. Yeah. And they just they, they they finally changed. Davison. <laughs> Wildcat. Georgia. Bulldog. <laughs> He's killing me, man. Kentucky. Northwestern. Bulldogs. Wildcat. <laughs> bulldogs. Both. <laughs> so. Fucking. Arizona. Unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> Is he getting hungry? Maybe. No, I had chicken and a sandwich. All right. Sandwich. Fuck All right. it. Fuck it. All right. So, <laughs> segue into back to the rivalry. Let's yeah. talk about. Let's talk about this rivalry. Duke. It's spelled D O O K this is week. Correct. Do you know why? Because there's no you. Because we don't give a fuck about you. That's correct. Oh, nice. Yep. So versus. Carolina and sorry, South Carolina. There's only one Carolina, only and he sure as hell ain't South University Carolina. of North Carolina. Yeah. So yep. you can put that on your freaking football jerseys and all that crap all you want to, but they ain't but one Carolina. So, <laughs> but yeah, man, huge rivalry. Um, oh my God. I mean, you know, you, you hate to use the word hatred, but I can't help it. Fuck of, of all sports, yeah. And I'm gonna say, and they, these guys Sorry, know I took this 13. well. Fuck Mark, I'm gonna say it straight up. There is not a sports team that I hate worse than the Duke Blue Devils. It is, I mean, they're like up here, number one, and then it's a distant two, and and that two switches up every now and then. But in, like in college basketball, it's Duke number one, Kentucky number two for me because I'm a Carolina guy. So that's that's where I go with that. What about you? I don't know who my number two would be. Oh, it's Kentucky. Fucking Louisville or Villanova for me. Villanova <laughs> has a well, special we hatred in my we, heart. We know why that is. Charles Villanova. Yeah. <laughs> well, we know why that is. Villanova. I fucking hate um, Nova. Yeah, I mean, I mean, 
He did nail that damn shot, though, y'all. Fuck him. He nailed the hell out yeah, of that Yeah, well, so did Marcus Page, so fuck Yeah, he him. did. He, he even double-pumped it. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it, I'm telling y'all, as soon as he let go of that ball, I looked at my wife and I said, that shit's going in. Oh, yeah. I knew as soon as he let go of it, it was going in. I don't. I, I can't him. suck. We beat him and it makes Who me was so the guy happy. Again? I can't. Jenkins. Chris Jenkins. Fuck him. I can't stand Gonzaga. I don't like Gonzaga either. I'm not and I'm so either. glad, Mark, that you brought that up because I'm so glad we beat their asses. Boy. I did not want to lose a national championship <laughs> to them. Again. I back did, to back. I, yeah, I yeah. did not want to. Yep. So, there you go. Yeah, fuck but, them. But dude. would you pull for me against Duke? Absolutely. Yeah, of course. Uh, of course. <laughs> I would pull for <laughs> Hellman's mayonnaise <laughs> over Duke's. Wow. Basketball. <laughs> wow. Did you hear that? I, I, just switch, I just switch it up. <laughs> Did you hear that helmet? <laughs> so, but now this rivalry is crazy, man. Eight miles apart. Yeah. It is what it is. You know, and I know you guys are going to barbecue me for this, but as much as I hate Duke, I do respect their program. Oh, I mean, you got to give respect. I respect to Coach K. You know, look at his record. I don't like the guy, I don't like anything Mark about jumping. Duke. I don't, I, I don't like the guy. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't like him. Jump him. But I give the guy credit, um, but I just don't like Duke, and I don't like what they represent. I just don't. I, I'm a diehard Carolina guy, and I don't like him. It is what it is. But I can't ignore their accomplishments and what they have become in college basketball. Can't. So it sucks, but it is what it is. But I hate him, Mark. Mark, but let me tell you, man. I need therapy when it comes to Duke. You hear me? I need therapy. Here comes the alley-oop coming in. For my hatred for Duke, I need therapy. Come I've in. said it. It is un. It is a unhealthy hatred. I've said that. I need help. I, I have I have friends and people I know that I respect that are Duke fans. I have no respect for anything about Duke. I will not respect Coach K. I do not care about I mean, his record. He trains his teams, his players to the dirty, trip people. The dirty. To get DUIs and be able to play next week, to suspend his players for doing dirty <laughs> things and then play them two weeks later, that's a good Maybe suspension because Carolina, because they're playing against Carolina. Yeah. I have no respect for anything. He looks like Hitler. Draw a freaking mustache <laughs> on the middle of it. His wife looks like a butch. I have no respect He's for him. He's a rat face bastard. Yeah. Travis. This is what he no is. respect. Yeah, take that, Travis. All right, so before we get into the game going on, I want to ask you guys okay. around the horn. Bring it. Who's your most hated Duke player? Grayson Allen. Grayson Allen. Grayson Allen. Grayson Allen. Okay. Who's your See, most loved Carolina player? Michael Jordan. Well, See, I, uh, I wasn't around for that. That you watched play. Oh, wait, it's Doug. Never mind. Yeah. I'm the go- <laughs> uh, he's the GOAT, man. You know, th- this doesn't surprise you guys. It's Kendall Marshall. I, love I like Ken- Kendall Marshall. I love Kendall, Kendall, Kendall Marshall. was good. I man. love Kendall Marshall. Yep. Who you got? Danny Green. I like Danny Green. The good one. It's a good one. I was a Marcus Page fan. I, in the second half. Yep. First half, garbage. Yep, but I like the guy. You know, I'm I'm going to go a different direction. I thought this dude was going to be a beast in the NBA. Bryce Johnson. Yeah, Bryce Johnson was good too. Yeah, I like that whole team. Mm, um, yeah. That was a that was a fun team. Um, Tyler Hansborough. Yep. Psycho uh, T, Psycho baby. Psycho T, I mean. Hey. Owned Cameron Indoor Stadium. Yep. Never lost. I don't think, yeah, he never lost. 4 0, baby. Eat that, you freaking dookies. You fucking dookies. That's what out of you because we don't give a fuck about you. Fucking dookies. <laughs> 13, baby. Fuck Duke. <laughs> nope. So that's a good one, though. That's a good question. I mean, of course, I'm going to say Jordan. I'm a Jordan guy. I but, mean, yeah. But I agree with you. Some of the ones you don't really you think about. I, I was a big James Worthy guy. Oh, yeah. Um. So my question is Kennedy Meeks. West Kenny, Charlotte boy. I like him. Kenny Meeks, yeah. Meeks was good. Yeah. I did like Luke him. Luke May. Oh, hell another, yeah. Another Charlotte I played guy. Played baseball against yep. him in high school. Silent manager has arrived. Do y'all. Okay. <laughs> Can you get me a pot to piss in? Yeah, I'm me really too, because I, 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 I hadn't been yet. <laughs> so, y'all keep the discussion going. <laughs> Do y'all have a favorite Duke player? Just uh, one, that, like, not because he went to Duke, but because he was a good player. So Mine you're, 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 is Grant Hill. I'm just going to throw it out. Grant okay, Hill. so you're, you're least hated. Yeah. I like Grant Hill. So I, I do like the question because that is a good question. I actually really did like Zion. Okay. Honestly. Who did you hate the least, Mark? There's got to be a player you hated the least. 
I mean, Kyrie Irving's a beast. Fuck, I hate Kyrie Irving. I fucking can't stand him. I'm not him. saying I'm not saying I like him, but he's a beast. Uh, but I hate him, so he's not one of my least favorite. I'm not saying that. I'm least just, favorite Duke I'm just players. admitting he's a beast. But nobody, nothing. No, I don't have anybody. Who's I your thought name? I thought about like Brandon Ingram, but I forgot how much he looks like a worm out of Men in Black. He's a fucking loser, smug, smoking pothead. Yeah, I, I have I have nothing good to say about it. I never will. Right. What What's your favorite Carolina moment? Carolina moment. That Nash. I mean, I'll tell you what. I remember. I remember watching Villanova lose the us lose to Villanova. Yeah. And then next year, I remember exactly where I was, and I will till the day I die tell that story about where I was and just watching it at a bar with everybody that I loved or whatnot, and just watching that game. Okay. It was just the national championship. Against Nova? No, against Gonzaga. 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 Okay. And then a couple of years ago when we were the number – I think we were number one seed and we brought the NCAA tournament back to Charlotte mm. or whatnot. That was the first time I ever got to watch Carolina play in person. Oh, okay. So, so my next uh, favorite moment will be when I watch them in uh, Carolina. I got you. I got you. Which is going to be uh, next year when we go. Okay. Put it in there. Nail the coffee. CSR coming to you live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck your mother. So, um, my favorite, I think my favorite moment, honestly, wasn't it was one, it wasn't one of the championship games. It was against Kentucky to get to the championship game, oh. and that was the Luke May shot. Honestly, I was and, hugging people I didn't know, and it was funny. It was I was coming back from the beach. I was I was watching it on my phone as I was driving back home. I was like, because we had to get back home because I had to work the next day, and. uh I was driving, driving. I was like fucking pushing it. I was going a hundred. Get home, get the game back on, and like as soon as I get home, you just see the pass. Luke May shot, gun, win, going against Gonzaga. Let's go. So same year, but that's probably that. What you, Justin? I can't even fucking think of him. So now you know how I feel about thinking about Duke players that I like. Yeah, there you go. Put you, put you. On oh, you got one. I'm sorry, Mark. So in this rivalry, what was the worst time a Duke Carolina game? What was like the worst moment you've had? The shot, of Austin Rivers. Austin Rivers. Yep. Shot. Every all right. day, all day. Yep. Austin Rivers. I don't even think like I was young enough to, you know, really care as much as I do now. But I'll never forget it, dude. I remember I was, um, so Aaron, he was a big Duke fan, and we were uh, we were hanging out in his garage watching it, and he. Fucking Rivers got that fucking shot over. It was over hands. No, it was over um, Zeller. Hit the shot. I fucking walked out, left, went home. Didn't even say bye. I said fuck you. I said I ain't talking to you. Nope. You dick. So all right. So what we talked about? Austin Rivers. Rivers yep. That you're talking about? Yep. <laughs> so your sorry guys. Your best Carolina moment. What's your, what's your best Carolina moment? Um, probably. I mean, it's one of the national championships, of course. Yeah. But it's it's probably, you guys know nothing about this. The, the Jordan shot? 82. Over Jordan. Because, over Jordan because shot? And here's why, guys. Because, by the way, and I'll say this, the master, Dean Smith, his birthday was <laughs> last week. Just thought I'd say. Uh, the master, Dean Smith, um, he had taken a lot of criticism because he had won so many, you know, ACC championships great teams but he hadn't won the big one and up to that point he had lost i think two before georgetown and he finally got his championship um so i think that was a big one and the way they won with jordan hitting the shot and i know that the thing at the end with throwing the ball away and all that but that was probably my favorite and it's hard though y'all because the ones behind you mark was a big one because the Fab Five, you know, they were supposed to walk on the court and win everything. And Carolina took it to their ass that night. They, I mean, Montrose, all those guys. So that was a big one, too. And then I guess redemption is hard to not, you know, because, God, I mean, the way they lost and then to come back and, and, and win it. Of course, the Hansbro teams, man, when they when they beat, you know, Illinois and all that, that was that was big team. Sean May, all those guys. It's just too many. But I, 82 would probably, if I had to pick one, it'd be 82. It'd have to be. You want to ask him the question that Stephen had the audacity to ask I, me? I think I heard it when I was dying going down the stairs. Was it? Was there a Duke player I liked? Who's your least hated Duke player? All right, I'll say. On, that was I, my question. I'll say it this. It was yours. I'm sorry. 
I'll say it this way. Good question. And I, Psych. I didn't. I heard Grant Hill. I heard somebody. That, somebody said Grant Hill. Yeah, that was my favorite Duke player. You tell me, a poor man's Michael Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was going to be the next guy. I remember all that crap. Um, by the way, let me put on my Grant Hills. Oh, there's no such thing. But anyway, oh. um, there is such thing as LeBron. <laughs> yeah, but they don't sell like Jordan. We already went through this. You don't want to go there again. Oh, I do. Um, let me ask you a question. He's he's oh, going to bring God. up something where I'm going to go nuts. Okay. How many do you do you anticipate the LeBron shoe to come out all every year? No. LeBron has a shoe. Yeah. Thank you. So what what's the one everybody wants every year when it comes out? The Jordan. That'd be Michael Jordan. Oh, okay. okay. So we'll just hush there. But I'll say I got this. Him going again. All right, what the fuck? As right, as right. as a broadcaster. Right. Wait, wait, wait a second. As wait, a broadcaster. When I left to go take a piss, we were talking about Carolina Duke. Yeah, we already did it. Okay. We still are. Because LeBron's jock sniffer over here brought up his stuff. So I, I got anyway, going on LeBron again. Um, so my thing, I like Jay Bills as, as an analyst. I don't. I, I, do, I, yeah. I, I don't. I think Jay Billis is very good. He's a smart guy. When Duke and Carolina play, he doesn't show his Duke dukeness. He doesn't. Yeah. He stays down the middle. As a player, he sucked. Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest with you. He wasn't any good. Um, I'm gonna name some guys I know y'all hate, but I'll tell you I respect their game, and I know y'all gonna get barbecued for this, but I hate them. You keep you keep saying something about barbecue and it's making me hungry. I'm just telling you, man. Corey McGetty. There, there's actually a special. On, you know, I think you could Netflix. It, uh, it was, I think it was ESPN. I hate Christian Leitner. Yep. You can say what you want about Christian Leitner. And he was a dirty ass player. It's typical of what you said, Mark. But that, that was a bad white boy. He could play. I'm telling you, he could play. And, but see, that, that makes me respect him less. Well, I mean, he Be- could play. Because you don't have to do those dirty And shit. I agree with you, Stephen. Because that's like that's Grayson Allen. But I'm telling the, y'all. The kid's a hell of a basketball player. Yeah. You guys didn't get to see him play. No, I mean. He, he was a damn good player. He was I, good. And I'm not disputing that. But that um, makes me disrespect. That makes me have less respect for him. I, if you, and I get that. But it doesn't take away from the fact that it was good. Right, but uh-huh. how much better could he have been without doing that? He was dirty a good shit? player, man. I mean, he played on dream. He was on some of the, you know, the, the Olympic teams. He was good. Well, um, I mean, it, you can hate JJ Redick, and I hated that son of a bitch with a passion, but he was good. So you you bitch about LeBron and his crybaby shit. I, I never said he wasn't good, but I've always given LeBron yeah, his props. But that's he what, just ain't the goat. But that's what Sorry. I'm saying is like these players don't have. To, I'm agree with. I'm actually agreeing with you on this. Yeah, I never said LeBron sucked. But, I never said that. But you respect them. I don't. Re- I don't respect you, LeBron. His, his, bas- his basketball prowess. I do. His basketball prowess. I do. But I don't respect him as a person. But you would respect. We ain't getting into you, that. Yeah, I know. I get it. We won't get into that. But you can respect him more if he didn't cry, baby. Yeah, I said that last. And week. that's the dirty in the driveway shit. about fifty times. That's the dirty shit. Different leagues, Doug. Yeah, we're not going there. Mark, I think me and you would agree a diff- different what these guys say. Um, we're going to talk about it when we go. They outside. do it just to get me going. No, no, no. I already know that. <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna <laughs> defend. <kind> of <laughs> I'm gonna defend Michael Jordan till I die. So they can preach this LeBron crybaby crap all they want to. All right, let's go, let's get to Duke Carolina. It is what it is. Duke Carolina. Duke Carolina. But my favorite moment was '82 championship. Eighty-two again against Georgetown. Yep. Okay, I get it. I mean, but that was that was Dean's first title. Yeah. And he had taken a lot of crap for years about he couldn't win the big one. Right. Um. So, but it like I told, it was hard. That one was a good one because they beat the Fab Five. Yeah, Redemption. Right, all that. It's it's hard to pick up a single. It is right. So th- this game coming up now. Uh, what what are y'all's keys to the game to for us to maybe pull this win out? Because we obviously Duke's a bus all this year. They're good. We and, know. And the hype on that game is going to be Mark, as you said, it's going to be crazy. I mean, they can't. What do they call them? Cameron crazies. Well, they're I mean, going to no be in pun full intended. Force. Yeah, it's going to be gonna in full force. But Carolina took an ass whooping in Chapel Hill. Yep. Maybe and I will say, seven. Carolina usually plays pretty good in Cameron. Even the worst teams, you guys know, we would never expect to give them a game. They play well. Well, I think the biggest thing was was last game was Baycock got into foul trouble. Mm, he did. He had like two or three fouls in the fa- first ten minutes. Who's yeah. the pressure on in this game? Coach K. Yeah, it ain't on us. We're playing with house money. Yeah. So – I need Baycott to do what he's been doing the last two games. And I need Manic to have a game like he did last time. I'm not even worried about offense this game. 
Last it's, game we played, Duke Z. didn't lose. Defense this yep. game. And yeah. Duke, we're going to score. Don't yeah. worry, we're going to yeah. get hot. But Mark, Duke hit everything they threw up in Chapel Hill. Absolutely. Yeah. We talked about that. Did you watch the first two minutes of Syracuse where yeah. they went six for six? That was the entire Duke game. Uh, exactly. Mm. But there was Mark, no you, defense. You know, got to play D. Yeah. Because we've seen the past couple games with Duke, they've played Syracuse right. and Notre Dame, and they've won by in single digits. Yeah. So if we play a single digits game, we're winning, right? Well, in we those can, we games, can make it happen. Duke's talent prevailed in the end. Yep. We got to be there to be in it. And man, we just got – Chapel Hill, he just got away. I mean, before you blinked, we were down 25. Well, they dug a hole they couldn't get themselves yeah, out of. Exactly. Yeah. But they, they have a tall enough He's line. all over, Duke. Yeah. The defense in that game was terrible. I mean, yeah. I mean, Duke shot 57% from the field and 40 from yeah. 41% from the three. Yeah. What do you have? Baycott, he had 18 rebounds last game. He needs yeah. 20. Yeah. Absolutely. Ain't but, stay out of foul trouble. But if he, if he plays the full game, it's it's a different story. Yep. I mean, yep. our, our offense runs through Baycott. For sure. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but at the same time, Love, I mean, he only scored eight points. Mm-hmm. was three of ten from the field last game. I Has mean, anybody seen the line on the game yet? I, I looked I, this morning. It wasn't up. So, I, no, I haven't seen it. I know in Chapel Hill, wasn't it? When we talked about I can't even remember. It was Duke by – Three and a half or something. Yeah, it was really close. It was really close. By the way, Canes are up one nothing. Oh, sweet. Predictions for the game? Uh, y'all go ahead. We lose by six. Was that six? Okay. Okay. I'll go a little bolder. I mean, we're gonna. I think uh, lost by single digits, but Armando Baycott uh, sets the record with twenty four double doubles. Okay. 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 Ben Cheryl's uh, shoe explodes just like Zion's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. I'm going to. No I'm gonna, line. I'm no, gonna, line. Gonna, no, no line yet. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to be a homer. And I think win by three. Okay. okay. Nice send. Nice send. Full send. Full send. No, we'll probably lose by 23, but no half sends. Sense. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to be a homer. Can we win in Cameron? We've proven. Historically, we can. Yeah. Um, even teams, like I said earlier, man, you would never expect to win and Cameron have. Um, I think with all this going on, Kay's last game, all that crap, wanting to beat Carolina for the last game. Yeah. I just don't I don't think that's too much for this Carolina team to overcome. Yeah. Personally. Mm-hmm. That's what I think. Um, can we win it? Sure we can. Do I think we will? Probably not. I say Duke by ten. Back then. I said going into this game, I, I have a coworker that's a Duke fan. I said, yeah, Carolina Saturday. I said, we'll we'll probably lose. I said, hey, you know what? It's Coach K's last game in Cameron. I said, even if we were better than you guys, we'll lose. Yeah. It'll be rigged somehow. Oh, dude. You, you know the, ca- like- the calls are going Duke's way. Doesn't 100%. matter. 100%. Well, Steven, Justin, y'all remember at the beginning of the basketball season, we talked yeah. about it being K's last season. He's going to get the call all, more than he does already. Yeah. And they're going to try their best to get him to the championship. Mm-hmm. He's going to be able to pull his starters oh, off. Yeah. He, they're going to all hug oh, him. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a storybook ending for It him. will be. And they're going to open mouth kiss him just like Tom Brady. You mean like they oh, always yeah. do. And that's why I think they always wins by oh, yeah. three. They ruin all that shit. So, I hope, Steven, I hope you're right. I hope so, too. Dude, I hope you're right. If you, if you are, beers are on me. And if not, beers are still on you. Because <laughs> guess what? It's your crack zone. <laughs> next <laughs> week. It is. <laughs> Actually... We have donated, so what? it won't be on me. Well, mate. Well, well the next week it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, it will. so but no, you're still next in line. Are we so, skipping mine? No, no, we're going to. No, no, it goes me. You're next, man. Me, Doug, you. And then go back. Go, to man. Me. Go, man. No, I'm talking about Craig Zone. No, 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 no. Well, we got some donated. The rota- No, the rotation is me. Yeah. So, so like so, when, when it's just us, it's me, Doug, you. Right. And then it goes back around. So. Like, so like he got it this week. You got it last week. I got it last week. It would have been me it this been week. His, his turn. Mark then. brought it. So next week will be me. I feel like it's been a month since I brought it right. here. But it'd be me, right? Next week, right, Stephen? Yeah. It it comes back it would, to me because we're going to we were going to do the FC beer. Right. Right. This week, but Mark kindly gave us some beer. And he did. Thank I'm you sorry, very much. Justin. And, and it was. And by the way, it was a good one. Silent manager. Do you want to? Taste this, since you aren't here. Pass that over. Your hair's so straight. 
Let's see. We'll, we'll get you don't. You, we need to. We could factor her in. Now remember, it's it's not cold. Oh yeah. Oh shit. We were at three point one. So well, all right. So we had three, 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 four, four two, and two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. And Teresa, this is Pilot Pilot Brewery, which is on our sign, by the way. And this beer, what's the what's the donation mark? Two dollars for every four pack goes to uh, tutoring and helping with basketball. So, get memory. There you go. That was good. We're taking a little okay. mini quack crack, uh, crack break. Quack <laughs> quack zone. All right. So quack. what we got? Three okay. Okay. That'll bring it up. That'll bring it up. So That's good job. Six. Good job, Mark. Three point one six 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 seven. So just three point two. So all right. So we got one Carolina win. Yep. Unfortunately, we think probably lost. Yeah. I think I. I want to be different. No, it's That's cool, man. I got no. I hope you are. You've always been different. One hundred percent right. Uh, you've always been different. Always been different. I hope you're right. I hope I am too, dude. I'm I'm and all then, over because definitely because the beer's on you after that. And I'll give you. Believe me, I will give you all the credit, man. You'll be the guy. <laughs> Mr. Cold Take, <laughs> Mr. Freeze. <laughs> so, all right, all right. So, thirteen, Justin. Give me a good one to end this rivalry talk. Do we all want to do it? Do you want to? You want us to back you up? Can we be do your you backup? Want just you yeah. want us to? So when I start, Doug, then you go. I got you. I got you. And y'all don't stop until I stop. I, I will try, man. Oh, and Jesus then we'll God. all say, "Hold on, Duke, Duke." Okay. Okay. Ready. Fuck. Duke. <laughs> Just blew the bases out of everybody's course. Yeah. I hope y'all so, like that. Fuck your base. There you go, guys. So. Fuck your life. Bing bong. Bing bong. <laughs> Suck it, Duke. All right. Shout outs. I got one. I actually have one, I think. But yeah, just one. Okay. Mark, you guys shout out. Yeah, anybody two. want? You want? Okay. Mark I got two. Got two. Okay. Let's let the. You want to let the guests go first? Yeah. 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 Thanks, guys. Uh, I want to shout out Hubert Davis. Like we talked about 22 wins in his first season. Yeah. Very mm-hmm. good. Definitely. Good job on him. Glad to be 22. And his wife for handing out cookies during the game. I oh, saw that. Yeah. I, I saw that. That hell was pretty yeah. cool. That's yeah, awesome. right, right in front of the tunnel. Yeah. I saw that. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I count as one. But I got want to shout out you guys. Thanks for having hey. me. Oh, yeah. Keep yeah. running, guys. This yeah, this is amazing. And we, yeah, have, we, we appreciate, appreciate you, you being on. This yeah, is man. long overdue. Yeah. Because I know these knuckleheads were on. Your podcast, yeah. Right? So, and I, I, you know, I wanted to guest on that one too. So, <laughs> good to have you, man. We yeah, thanks. We thanks again. One, we knew this was coming. All right, go. I want. Can I go last? No. Can I go last? Yeah, you're good. Okay, Stephen, you want to go? I can. Uh, yeah, 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 we can do it. <laughs> you, you can in the outs of that. Um, okay. my my uh, shout out is uh, you, Mark. Honestly, I was gonna shout you out for being. Our uh, fourth guest, man, um, long overdue, like Doug said. Yeah. Um, we've been talking about having you on for a long time. Dude, you're, you're a big supporter. You you give us feedback. You tell us what we're doing right. Tell us what to do wrong. Bought the first hat. Bought the first hat. But you've been in our corner since day one. So we appreciate you, man. And Thanks, you man. That. Ain't nothing wrong with fourth. If my parents had a fourth kid, I'm sure they would pick me for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we, <laughs> we appreciate you, man. Yeah, really. I'm glad you came on. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you came. Yes. Nice. On where? <laughs> I'm kind of sad we didn't have any uh, 69 stats tonight. Mm. Um, I did in my upsets and the scores, but I didn't say them. And you passed on it? Well, I feel like we we're we we're going pretty good, so I was like, nah. The fuck? Um, no, I'm just doing my normals. I don't I don't have any. Okay. TCU over n- number nine, Texas Tech, 69, 66. Thank nice. You, nice. <laughs> UConn over not, number eight, Nova, 71, 69. You. Nice. nice. <laughs> see how I acknowledge you, Tech guy. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't make him. him feel good. No, I had to, man, because he let me out when I needed well, he's to He's about go. to get it. He's <laughs> yeah. about to get it real, oh, they're real about to hard. Get it, turn your eyes. <laughs> yeah, no lube. <laughs> no looks. <laughs> Did you see that no look pass? And actually, I want to shout Mark's hat. Mark's hat was dope. Yeah, that hat it really was, was. That hat was lit. <laughs> Damn, Doug. <laughs> Go. It's fucking sweaty. We know where you're going. Yeah, I'm just doing my normals. Go. Um, Silent Manager, thank you for showing up tonight. Finally. Finally. 
with no no Chick Fil A. <laughs> I'm sorry. By the way, I didn't he, mean that. He ate before we started. I love you. Just so you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, tech guy, you're fucking stupid and ugly, and I hate you, and you're dumb as shit, and you got a new tattoo, and you think all the chicks like you now for some fucking reason, but you're pretty hot, so <laughs> keep going, bud. <laughs> Fuck off. Hey, all this pillow talk to making me, you know. Um, <laughs> it's getting me restless. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Steven got the hat on. Oh, oh my god. There he he has spoken. <laughs> Dumbass. Um to piggyback on what Steven said, Mark, thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. Um you've been a great guest. Uh, uh well out of four. He was first. Number four. One. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, uh, fifth. fifth. <laughs> we'll we'll get some dubs here soon. Yeah. For, oh, sure, for, for sure, sure, for sure. Um and Steven and Doug. Yes, sir. Thank y'all. No, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. And that's it. And I think we got a surprise for everybody, right? Uh, well, yeah. I got to go. No, you fuck go. Doug. <laughs> <laughs> the old guy gets Doug, you're screwed getting on, again. You're Come getting on bops. the line real quick. <laughs> I, know, I thought yeah. Justin liked me, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you sh- you're off both of our You know what? My, get on, my shout out is getting ready to go away. Um, <laughs> I forgot I forgot about you. My this bad. shout out was actually directed. There was two of them. Yeah. One, again, for Mark. Yeah. Appreciate Mark finally coming on. He got all the um, shout outs. But this one's aimed at you. Oh shit! Oh, even though you you dog me out, man. I saw this today, and I thought about you. Mm-hmm. Um, today in 1973, <laughs> Pink Floyd released "Dark Side of the Moon." Oh, oh shit! Oh wow! Nice. And I knew Ooh. that means a lot to you with your dad, your tattoos, all that stuff. Yeah. We've had this conversation. I saw that man, and, and, and I thought about you, man. I and appreciate that. I take back everything I said. And I, I had to screenshot it. Yeah. Wow, um, don't you feel like a dick? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And, and, I really and, and I did, man. It, it was like, and just so you know, it was on Monsters of Rock Twitter account. So I saw it today, and I was like, man, Justin, I got I to gotta throw that out. Damn. So, you know, I know that means a lot to you, man. So, you know, and I'm a big music guy, so I know how that is. So I appreciate there that. There you go, man. Yes, sir. So throw that out to you. So there you go. All you... Pink Floyd people, seventy three yeah. today, Dark Side of the Moon, which is actually I think that album is still on the charts. It's it's been on the charts oh, for yeah. like ever. Yeah. So, but is, yeah, isn't it a Mardi Gras too? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Just so, so Justin, shout out to you, man. You Thanks, and bud. for your dad. I appreciate that. All right, that's anything else, guys. Good. Yep. That it. Up oh. episode twenty nine. Getting ready to come to. Man. Oh, we're gonna do this. Oh, yeah. that's right. And this is in honor of. The, the 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 guest brought this one. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I came over prepared. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I I'll fucking dare you. There's not we hadn't had a guest do this well, before. <laughs> well, it's probably because it's Mardi Gras. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, and didn't even know. Pull my titties so. out. Yep. Thanks so, for the beads. So we're doing. <laughs> I'm again, excited for this one. Yep. For the second week in a row, we're doing a a second crack zone. Yep. And a second Cabarrus too. Yeah, and it's Cabarrus, and you know, I love this. Is, this is interesting, man, because. I'm a big coffee guy, so this this ought to be good. So, Mark, tell us about this one. Take it away. So, we got a Cabarrus Brewery. I know how much you guys uh, didn't favor the last one. So, we love Cabarrus Brewery yeah, on CSR, absolutely. so we want to shout them out again. Coffee big. Irish Cream. Mm. Cabarrus is a big sponsor of Niners. They actually retweeted your stuff. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. I saw it on their website. So, so 4.7% in uh, bringing it back for St. Patrick's Day. Three, two, one. And it says top of the morning. Top of the morning. It smells great. Ah, it smells like Starbucks. It smells like Starbucks. Right Silent manager. This will be a two for two for one here. Oh wow, that is actually pretty for good. sure. That is very good. Yeah, but it's always the second one. Yep. Second. Oh, and Mark, what, so, what type of beer is this? It's a coffee blonde. Coffee blonde. And coffee blonde series Irish cream. There's a bunch of different ones. Alcohol. Four point seven. Four point seven. All I right. could I could drink that in the morning going yeah. to work. Okay. Yeah, I, no shit, right? All right, so we're going to do like, our ratings. We ooh. got to. Oh, yeah, I got to add this shit. Wait a second. All right, so get yeah, that you don't do decimals. Out. I do decimals. I, I think we got him doing it tonight. My calculator wasn't doing it. All right, so silent managers getting in. What What about, uh-oh, tech that, guy's tech bouncing. Guys like He's bouncing it. over here. You won't get that back, by the way. Oh, I'll get it back. <laughs> I like that one. Look at look at Silent Man. She's bouncing over here too. Look at this. This is this <laughs> one. This That's is a good, a good one. one. Uh, 
All right, so I said again, I'm a coffee guy. So, all right, so we're going to silent manager and tech guy. Let's give it, get you right. Oh, nice. Four. Nice. Four. Okay. I think I'm going to get mine back. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. You're good. I still got some in here. Um, Doug, you want to go? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Four again. Okay. Definitely. Good. That was a good one, man. Yeah. Like I said, this is something I could wake up and be like, you know what? Let's get can, it. I, can I drink this in the morning? Let's go to work. <laughs> Pop it, Fortnite, bangers, dubs, let's go. Yeah. Like, I could drink this and be very happy drinking it. Yeah. Um, I'm going four and a half. Four and a half? Oh, wow. that's your highest. That might be my highest beer highest. I've ever rated. Actually, you know? I, I would go four and a quarter, but I'll mess him up. <laughs> I could do four and a quarter. Four and a like. quarter, man. Give it to it. That's my highest. It says on here, top of the morning to you, or afternoon or evening. So, I mean, you could drink it in the morning. Yeah. And yeah. I'll I tell could, you what, I don't it. really like their vanilla, their original that much. This is going to four and a half we for me, too. We could pour some yeah. Lucky Charms for, for Thanks pa- St. Patrick's this Day. Is, this is a very good beer. That's a good one. Mark, you said four and a half? Four and a half, for sure. 4.25 for me. Four and a quota. Four for me. All right, what we got? You're not going to believe this. 4.20. That's that's the highest. 4.20. Nice. Let's get it. Nice. <laughs> so good job, Mark. Yeah. Thanks, man. You brought two yeah. good ones this week. Two yeah. good ones. He might he might need to be our, our beer expert. So all right, so Mark, you, you kinda well, <laughs> no, nah, you didn't say it that way. Anyway. The rednecks are outside. What, <laughs> I heard I, I heard it. <laughs> so we uh Friend of the show. Friend of the show. So you said we kind of. What did you say about Cabarrus? We we kind of. We just didn't like the one last week. That yeah, it, yeah. So we wanted to bring him back up again. Cabarrus is a supporter of the Niners, so I like Cabarrus Brewing. Yep. yep. But this is a good one, man. So hopefully they'll retweet this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like our stuff on Instagram. Um, good one, man. This is two good crack zones yeah. this week. We gotta get a picture with all those beers. Yeah. Yep. This is not a makeup call. This is a good beer, Cabarrus. Thank good one, you man. so yeah. much. That was a real good. And, one. and the witch doctor wasn't bad. No, no, by no. By no means. Our suggestion. No, it's just different was palettes. Just cut back on the pickle juice. On the pickle a little bit. Yep. Other than that. That, that was it. Other this this was is good. definitely a good one, man. Yep, good, good call on that. So um, what we'll do is get these pictures like we did last week. I think Tech Guys already worked on that. And Maybe. we'll get it We'll get it out there, man. Um, but this is definitely a good one. Mm-hmm. So, all right, guys. So Crack Zone, two in a row. Two yeah. weeks in a row. We've done four we've done four crack zones. Yeah. I gotta update the vault. Yeah. Um so Mark, thanks again for coming on, big guy. Yep. Um long overdue. Good job tonight. Thank you. Um I like how you took control of that one segment, Justin. That was good, man. Yeah. The updated standings and all that. Hey. <laughs> yeah. He's 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 got her back he, again. Yeah, Jumped right, right in, man. Uh, yeah. But yeah, man, we appreciate it. So guys on behalf of Silent Manager, Tech Guy, our guest Mark. Mm-hmm. Um you know, hey guys, we're gonna sign off with episode twenty nine. So here we go, guys. We, we are C S R.